My name is TJ Gamble and this is Bruzel. But what does it actually take to get one of these in the state of Alabama? It's all told we spent about 400 bucks, but this is what we got. That's a good whiskey. There's a lot going on there. All right, this was a um, complicated setup and I hope we got everything worked out. I don't, I don't know. Every week we're trying to take up the complexity a little bit to make this a more fun, a better stream, but the intro worked. The intro did roll this time, but we are trying to take it up. We have added TikTok to the stream. Looks like we've got Caveman over there on TikTok as well. We are live right now in all the places: Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, Twitch, YouTube. I'm not sure Facebook comments are pulling in though, and I'm, honestly, I'm not sure I'm going to have a chance to get it fixed if they don't come in. So apologize to Facebook if we miss your comments, but I do see them strolling in from every other platform. Enoch over there on Twitch right now, Mr. Sound Salty good? and YouTube. How's the sound? Yeah. How's the sound? How's the sound? I've been working on that today too. Working Ooh. on the sound. YouTube over everything else, David Jenkins says. <laughs> well, we um, one thing we're doing today a little different as well is at the second hour of this particular stream, we are going to have some guests, and those guests are going to be from Old Soul, and we are going to do a barrel pick live right here on the air. Before we do that, we're going to be going through all of the whiskeys and trying, I'm going to be trying, Jill will try to select a few of all of the whiskeys that, um, that we picked up on the San Jose to Reno bourbon hunting trip. So... Looks like it sounds good over on TikTok. Honestly, that was the one I was worried about the most on the sound. I, I did a whole bunch of work this week just to get sound to work on TikTok for this streaming rig. So I've seen some. It's a little low, but I don't know if that's it's a like little low overall. I mean, I bump it just a little bit here. Watch your ears. Watch your ears. <laughs> just a little, bu little yeah. bump right there. Little overall bump right there. Hopefully that helps. Yes, Brett. I will be trying the cellar age. That's we will definitely I will be trying that one. Be sure. trying the cellar age. I think that's the one Jill is uh, most excited most about. Most excited about. And, I just, uh, you know, seeing as how we're going to pick a barrel live on stream, I, I don't want to drink all of that before we pick our barrel. Yeah, for yeah. sure. Um, so she wants to, you know, get it, get her, get her palate right, but not overdo it no. before we end up um, trying. How many samples do we have over there, Jill? Looks like eight. Yeah, eight. Eight samples. So, we're. I was thinking it was six. I can't count. Who? I can't count. I don't There's know anything. Eight. What do I know? So we're gonna try eight. Eight's a lot. After you've gone for an hour and you've been drinking a whole bunch, eight's a lot. Did Jill get her hair done? Rules of Grant said. I did. I did get it done. About. I think it was done last stream, but it was just up. So now it's down. Mm. Now you can see now it you can all. Now you can see it. Muluite evening. What's going on? We're warming up here just a little bit on this old soul. And then we'll get into all of these highlight bottles we picked up on the last stream. I did not break out the E.H. Taylor single barrel, although we did grab one. If y'all want me to try it, I mean, I, I probably won't try it just because we've had it here on the stream. I've got one open behind me. No, <laughs> no need to uh, redo it. Eric's asking for a Utazimo. <laughs> Call back to the previous stream. Yeah. Oh, let's, Jill. Let's not start that. You're still in Will's Thunder with those Orca cups. I don't think he started promoting those yet. Yeah, he did. <laughs> uh, They're on the website. Are they? Did he yeah. put them up? Okay. They're I on know the he's website. working on it. Like, don't, don't make me take my cup away. It's my uh, new water cup. It's fancy little. It's kind of not enough for water, but it's great for everything else. <laughs> Chris with the sexual vanilla. Hey, we do got Facebook chats coming in now. Ken from St. Louis through Louisville to Buffalo Trace Distillery. Stops, places to stop and buy. I don't really know. We did a Louisville hunt. I'm sure that uh, that video will provide some uh, places that we were able to find some things, but I don't know off the top of my head. Terry wants us to buy a liquor store together, Jill. Oh, wow. I don't know if I want a liquor store. That's the problem. I just keep all the liquor, and then I'd go broke. You got to sell the liquor to yeah. have a liquor store. That's the problem. I don't. I don't think that would go so well for him. That would not go well for me. All the allocated no. stuff. People are like, oh, we never get any allocated stuff out of that store. No, because I'm drinking it all. Matt wants to know where'd you get this old soul. 
Well, this particular one right this here is, is an Oscars. Oscars pick. I think Oscars was the one we picked up in Tupelo. Yeah, maybe the one we I picked up in Tupelo. I think this is my first time having it, and I re I don't. I mean, I love Oscars pick. I don't. I haven't had the other one that we have up there, but this one's really good. Pat's asked, "What's an Orca cup?" So the, these cups right here. Um, are Orca cups. Now, they, they're kind of, are they the next Stanley? They're kind of like Yeti-ish, right? Those kind of vacuum sealed. But this lid screws in. So I'm going to take it, and I'm going to throw it out of a moving car and see what was in it. I might have just shook it up. Water. Oh, then you're good. So, like, there's no leak in that whatsoever. Like, that thing is as sealed as you can get. So, good stuff. We should have those available. I think Will's going to bring them. All the ones we have, I, th I thought he wasn't going to sell them. I don't know. I'll let, I'll let him tell y'all. I think he was going to take them to the event in Memphis. He's I think take that's why. Some. He some? Okay. Some. Well, there you go. Ad sucks. On, I forgot to turn the ads down to low. I bet the last week or so, I've been turning them down to like barely drop some ads. Sorry about that, Facebook. Nothing I can do about it now. The TikTok duck owns a distillery. Wondered if you'd try our whiskey. Sure, there's a P.O. box. You can send it. I'm not guaranteeing it's going to make a video, but, you know, if the uh, inspiration strikes me or it's particularly good, happy to try it. And we do a ton of barrel picks and stuff. Mediocre Gaming, I DM'd you a t-shirt idea on Discord. I'll have to check that out. Um, I don't check my... It, I get a lot of DMs. That's probably not the best way to reach me, just to let you know. <laughs> not on, not on uh, Discord. Hey, hey, Ron Martin in the house. We are about to get into the barrel or the bottles we picked up on the road trip. And the cellar aged will be amongst those. And it'll be the second time Jill's had it. Mm -hmm. So, and she was a huge fan huge of it. Huge fan of it. Uh, Josh Floyd's 45 minutes from Tupelo. We will we'll be in Memphis, Josh, next Monday at Old Dominic. Yes. We are going to be there, be there about 6.30 Monday. That's a Monday. 6.30 Monday. We're going to have 150 to 200 folks there. We are going to pick four barrels of whiskey. We're going to have some patrons pick three, and then the general public is going to be able to slide in and help with the fourth. They'll have some food. They'll have the bar it's open. Going awesome. It's going to be a really fun event. So anybody out there, if you can make it a week from today at Old Dominic yeah. in Memphis, it's going to be a good time. You'll be there. I will, I will, you're coming, right? Yeah, I'll be okay. there Okay, Jill's definitely <laughs> coming as well. Appreciate it, Clout. Ah, uh, let's see. What are we getting ourselves into over here? I'm trying to hold on that Super Chat till it actually shows up and I can coordinate, but the first one's always stressful because I'm not 100% sure it's going to show up. <laughs> what is it? It says, you walk into a liquor store and everything is 40%, and I mean everything from top shop, shelf to bottom shelf, how many shopping carts would you be pushing out? This happened to me yesterday. Oh my goodness. If they had a great selection, wow. all the carts. All the carts. All the carts. Give me all the carts. We're gonna go ahead and hit this. There we go. Travis Bryan with the $20 super chat. Cheers from Texas. You guys are great. Sipping on Garrison Brothers Cowboy while watching. Mm. That's the one we passed on in this last video, Jill. Oh, the Garrison Brothers? Do we miss another super chat anywhere? No, I don't I think so. Did. That's the one. That's the first one, Jill. That is. Oh, nope. no. Nope. Look at this. Beach Sand Bourbon. Beach Sand Appreciate bourbon. that. Sorry about that. Cheers. See, TJ I thought I Jill. thought I saw one. It may that maybe the first one didn't come through. Thank I you. I didn't see it. I might have been hallucinating or something. I was probably trying to still get Chat's everything set really up. going really quick tonight. <laughs> the chat is moving mighty, mighty fast. And now you've got two screens of chats, and I'm way, I'm confused. As far as, like, the audio clipping when I get loud, I don't think it's my, I don't think it's clipping. I think this mic has a ticking problem, I've found. Like, in some of our videos, it just, like, cuts out or does something I think weird. We need new so, mics. I just bought these mics, but, yes, I will start over from scratch, um, and next at Old Dominic, we will still be using these mics, but, <laughs> but the next time. yeah, the next stream, I will have new mics. I apologize for the clipping. I tried. I even got loud, and it didn't clip with me while I was testing, so I, I'm not sure what's going on. Tiller's Bourbon Challenge. Cheers, Bruzel and Jill. Rock Hill, South Carolina in the chat. Oh, man, we got a lot of folks in here. It's hard to find, but worth the hunt. Yeah, on the Maker's Mark. So let's go through... The bottles we got, um, no particular order on these. I'm just going to reach for what interests me. And the first one I'm going to reach for 
is the one I've been cheating on. Um, I try to hold uh, these. I try to keep all of these bottles until we live stream. That's the rule. Mm-hmm. And you broke the rules? I 100% broke the rules on this bottle because I needed to try it oh. after what they let us sample in the Rick House. And this is the 100% wheat uh, Frey Ranch. Mm-hmm. So Jill's going to. Yeah. She might be mad. I've drank, I've drank like I see what 25% you did. of that bottle already. I see what um, you did. Might be a little problematic. Sorry about that. But I, um, I need a fresh glen on this one, Jill. So we went to Frey Ranch on this trip, and everything I loved about Frey Ranch I like even more now after meeting the folks yep. and being at, um, at awesome. their facility. It lived the, up to every expectation. They gave us samples um, from the barrel of the release they're going to do of this 100% wheat. And their distillery only release and their online only one is out of this world. Like one of the craziest things I've ever tried. It's definitely a dessert, but still just nuts. This is really good. Not near as interesting as those. But. That's still a really, really interesting whiskey for sure. I think it went away, but I saw Bob. The super ask, chat. It should come. It should no, no, come. it wasn't a super chat. Okay. Bob just asked, was it? He. It looks like it was cold in New York, and yes, it was. It was very it much. It was so. very cold in New York. The sexual vanilla. Cheers to you both. Appreciate the super chat. <laughs> mm. <laughs> you want to try a little of this uh, mm-hmm. this week, man? Still in my name. There's a couple of folks in here still in my name. There was the the TJG in here as well. I'm like, what? Mm. Losing my name. Pick up a Frey Ranch store pick tomorrow, Charlie on Facebook well, that's says. That's awesome. Jason says that's a good. This is a really good bottle of whiskey. Um, it's. I'm looking for like those things they're going to release that are limited because those are like super cream cheese forward. This doesn't have the cream cheese on it. I don't know where it got those that note on their um, single barrels they're going to release. But oh, wow. man, it is so freaking good. This is still really, really good. That is so good. And I didn't, like I like weeded bourbons, Ooh, but good. I don't know what a hundred percent wheat tastes like. First time I've ever had a hundred percent wheat whiskey, I believe. Um, like there's wheat whiskey, but it's not usually a hundred percent wheat. This is awesome. Wow, that's good. Into BBQ greetings from Wine Country. Slip, sip it on a Blanton's and enjoying the stream. Appreciate the support there. Thank you. BBQ. I want to go to Wine Country. You should. You deserve it, Jill. You deserve it. Wayne S., cheers, TJ and Jill. Y'all definitely the coolest husband and wife duo in the YouTube whiskey verse. Keep up the great work. I appreciate it. Thank you. That's a high honor because there's a lot of really cool folks in this community. Mm. Yeah, that's good. (laughs) All right, so that was bottle number. If if this is any sign, we won this hunting trip because that is fantastic. Slide that old soul own out of the way over there. Let's get also, to Also, has anybody had this? Two. This is really good. Old Soul Pick? Yeah. And yeah. we should have one here soon. Like I said, for those that are just joining, the second half of this stream, at the top of the hour, we're going to have some folks in from Old Soul, and we are going to do a barrel pick live right here on the air that is going to go to the Bruzel Club. You can find out more at the Bruzel Patron if you want to keep up with it. Beach I'm Sand Bourbon super excited reached that. some type of bruisal cloud. I scored on some really special bottles in my hunt yesterday. I'll have that video out on Wednesday. Oh, wow. Nice. I look forward to seeing it. This is the BEP Maker's Mark. Now, this is the second bottle of BEP. Mm-hmm. Russell came over, and Russell's like, I really want that BEP. And I was like, I, I like it, but it's not like my favorite thing in the whole world. So, Russell, if you really like it, and I just kind of like it, I'll let you have it. You need a new one? No, nah, I don't think this is a new Glen Cairn kind of bottle. I mean, it's a good bottle. Don't get me wrong, but it is the you know the Maker's Mark finished series, which is my shoulder is this one. Me. I mean, if you want to read it for the people, but Lord knows that I can't read that nonsense in the dark. It's the 2023 limited release. The tasting notes are an expression with. Prominent wood sugars bringing forth strong notes of vanilla, caramel, and sweet spice. Well, now that sounds delicious. It, it was pretty good. It's pretty good. Uh, they have, I've never seen that on a bottle. Stave details. So they put stave. Yeah, it's oak stave finish. Ten virgin toasted American oak staves. 
But Kylie wants to know how to get hands on one of our barrel picks north of the 41st parallel. I geographically, I'm a little geographically challenged. I'm assuming he's talking about <laughs> I'm Canada. Totally. <laughs> I'm assuming Canada. If he's talking north, Canada, uh, it's going to take a while, man. I don't know. Like we, we, I think we think we could get to 48 states now, 49 by summer, and we're about to open up six or so countries in Europe. What? Yes, ma'am. Uh -oh. Got word today. We haven't got a list of what countries, but he's like, we can do. Oh, that's you know, cool. six or so countries in Europe. So, that's awesome. Uh, Andrew Price, Charlotte, Charlotte, I can't Charlotte, 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 North, Charlotte North, Carolina. North Carolina, in the house. Try to get down here so we can see it. Charlotte, North Carolina, in the chat, sipping on a George T. I got for my birthday on the 14th. Keep up and look forward to meeting up in the hunt for a cellar aged. Uh, well. Just, I mean, fish, fish. I might already have one. So we're not going to meet up in the hunt because we already got it. Like, you might be in the hunt. I already got it. <laughs> What's up, Charles D on TikTok? Charles D's. We got a lot of folks on, like, for those that don't know, if you just joined, we are streaming across like four or five platforms right now. Um, we should be pulling most of those into the chat right now, but if we don't see it, it's a very busy chat. Yes, I apologize. Very busy. But we want to try to get out to everybody we possibly can. So, Bernie G, cheers to you, the veterans, and all the men and women serving. Today is President's Day, which is not a real holiday. That's not a real holiday. But I hope everybody had a good day off that did have the day. Revenger, I stumbled onto your channel and have been binge watching all your videos. Cheers from Arizona. Let's see, try, these are rolling, sipping on some Weller foolproof. Ooh. Nice. All right. I'm, these are rolling so fast. It's hard, yeah, it's hard to keep up with them. We're going to get them all, though. If we don't, somebody let me know. We want to make sure we get to all those super chats over on YouTube. We don't really have monetization on most of the other platforms, so we don't have to keep up with those at this point, but we will at some point in the future. Uh, Revenger stumbled onto your channel and been binge watching all your videos. Cheers from Arizona. Sipping. I got that one already. What's you the name? Oh, shout out from DC. <laughs> That's what I was trying to read. Shout out from DC. Have you had the new Traveler Whiskey by Buffalo Trace? Not yet. I have. Jill has not. Not yet. Uh, it's it's just kind of plain. It's kind of bland. It's kind of designed, I think, intentionally to be bland, and then it has just a hint of Canadian whiskey, mm. and that like the only real defining characteristic I tasted on it when I tried it was a hint of Canadian whiskey. Mm. So Jeffrey's enjoying an Eagle Rare Seventeen. He's drinking much much nicer than we are over on Facebook. <laughs> uh, this is a Maker's Mark BEP. Which is nice. I like it. It's a good whiskey. I'm not just going to go back to it over and over and over again, but I think it's really pleasant. Did you try it? Yes, it's very good. Yes, good whiskey right there. There's so again, a little something on the end, though. It's a little harshness from the yeah, staves to me. A yeah, it's a little harsh and that's, I get that a lot on I stave really, finish. I really liked it at first, but then I was like, eh, there's something on the end that yep. I'm not, not digging. I, I get that a lot on stay finish. This one is subtle. It's there, but it's not like it overwhelming. To me. It did not. It was very <laughs> it was harsh. It's very over the top. To me. It's right in Jill's face. What are you doing? It was very much international brutal. Johnny says. Trying to make sure we didn't miss any. I think we might have. Oh no! <laughs> got that one. You got me so confused. With Cheers, love you guys. Is the old soul pit going to include the high rye or only the cast strength? I don't know. It's all going to be cast strength. Okay, all going to be cast strength. I don't know what we have though. They just sent them, and I haven't even evaluated the samples. We haven't so opened them up. We tuned. haven't tried them. <laughs> Chris says I'm an influencer now, being able to. TJ being able, being able. There's shipping uh, to I, Europe, huh? Shipping to Europe. Yeah. Okay. I there was just I didn't know if that was me or if it actually had multiple being ables, and I'm like I might have. <laughs> there's three being. There's three ables in that. <clears throat> I might have drank too much. You know. Corey stumbled on a bowling alley that had some nice allocated bottles. I got a pour of George tea for thirty dollars. Love seeing you guys. Alley. Wow. Go for a pour of some George tea today. Awesome, Corey. We might uh, wow. we might check that out here in just a little bit. We got a lot to drink today, though. A lot to drink. Ken and Brenda with the twenty dollars super Aww, chat. Thank you, Ken and Brenda. Appreciate it. Thank you. All right, so on to the next bottle. Let's do the Maker's Mark, and then we'll finish with the local thing we bought. How about oh, that? Yeah, Does that okay. sound good? 
So we're going to go to the Maker's Mark Cellar Age. This is most definitely a fresh Glen Cairn kind of event right here. And I, this is how big of an influencer I am. All the new bottles come out, and I don't have any of them. <laughs> I'm always like the last. I just got a, a 13 Colony Double Oaked. You're always the last. I'm always the last. But you're the best. Oh. I saved the best for last. Is that what it is? Yep. Okay. I got to put in that effort. Part of it is just being in Alabama, you know, just not real Ooh, easy to find what you're looking for. Oh, my goodness. Uh, it's, it's a beautiful, beautiful bottle. Uh, beautiful whiskey. Oh, my goodness. Old Pogue. I have not tried Old Pogue. Chris from Biloxi's in the chat. Let's see. We got anybody on Twitter watching? ATV over on Twitch. Nice. Got a bunch of folks on TikTok. Love the show. Enjoying some High West Clemens, North Carolina. Oh, my goodness. Awesome. What do you think? It smells delicious. It looks delicious. If you were to hurry up and drink it, I would know what it tastes like. Mm. Good stuff. You don't want that. <laughs> you didn't like it better than the other thing, so you don't. I, mean, you don't I, I haven't tried this bottle though. Maybe oh. this maybe this laser coat is better than the others. <laughs> uh, Pittsburgh in the house over Only on Facebook. I love you. Uh, my mic's slightly too close. Okay, I think we're just gonna put it, <laughs> gonna put it down here. Okay, y'all, y'all, way away from me now. Is that better? Is that worse? Is Maker's a high wheat? Uh, Maker's is a weeded bourbon. Yes. How come no Korean mm. barbecue and whiskey while in somewhere? Yes, I don't know where that's it. I don't know. I don't know. Apparently, Jim's getting mad at us for not reading every comment. Sorry, Jim. It's really hard. If I'm you trying. were sitting on this side, you would totally get it. Also realize that <laughs> we probably, I mean, I don't know how many we got today, but we usually have 250 or so on Facebook commenting as well. So it gets a little out of hand. We do the best we can. Yeah, we're we doing do the, the best, best we, we can. can. I'm not going to the drop Saturday. Saturday, I'm going to Athens, Georgia, oh, and we are bourbon hunting with some University of Georgia players. Woo -woo. It's going to be fun. Maybe go to the Auburn basketball game? Auburn, Not maybe. Basketball We're going game. to the Auburn Georgia going basketball the, game. Yeah, going to the Auburn I got to buy this game. ticket, so I need your credit card. Yes, you do. Yes, I do. This is pretty good, Jill. Oh, my goodness. Yes, it is. Greg, we already been in and out of Reno, man. Unfortunately, that was a couple of weeks ago. Panama City, Florida, Darren in the house. Package strategy to get bottles home in a checked bag. So, PDX, um, bourbon... Lover69 here on, on TikTok, um, he helped us out. He had the inflatable pouches that we could borrow. I suggest picking some of those up and take them with you. You're, they're going to take up a lot more space in your luggage that way. But, you know, we got two free check bags with Delta. So as long as they're like, if they're carry-on size, they're not overweight. If you get like a, a checked bag size, it's going to be overweight and it's going to cost you 100 bucks. So... Big country. We don't always go live on TikTok. We just rolled it back in. We just so hopefully every Monday we will now be live on TikTok. I hope as long as it works and we don't have any problems. <laughs> what is it? That's a lot of platforms, baby. It's a lot to keep up with. Yeah, it is a lot to it's, it's keep a lot. up with. <laughs> um, so I still stand by the makers thing though. I love it. The finish is just lacking. Like it just doesn't leave you with a lot. Um, and if it did, if, it, if that finish was longer, it would be I'm out of this world this fantastic. Yes. What? The finish just kind of drops off a little bit. Hmm. You don't think so? I don't know. I'll get back to you on that one. We'll get back right now. Go for it. Do it. I'm waiting on you. <laughs> yeah, they're not entertained right now, Jill. No, I don't agree with you. Oh, uh, you don't agree? Okay. No, Reject, agree. why can't the new barrel cup ship to lower Alabama? They should. I don't know why they wouldn't. Ask Will. Will had a problem. Will's not good at, like, checking boxes. <laughs> so he should have that fixed. Um, it, there was a problem earlier with some products, and he should have got that fixed. You don't agree. I do not Great. agree. Great. It's really Just good. Dies. 
Just just dies. Uh, I don't think so. Devonette Amroth was fantastic. Chicken from Starlight, Indiana. Starlight Star Distillery. Ooh. Nice. Love Starlight. We got to get up there and do some more barrel picks. James asked, what's my all-time favorite on Facebook? William LaRue Weller. We love the weeded bourbons. Um, and it, this is a weeded bourbon, so it, it makes sense that that would fall into our flavor profile. Buddy Spirits and Cigars, doing all right, man. Glad you could join us. Um, the next bottle is the one we are most uncertain about. This is the one we got on this trip that was just kind of iffy. Um, and so, I, I don't know. I don't know. Don says, I've watched some reviews saying Heaven Hill Bob, Bottle and Bond and McKenna Tenure Bottle and Bond saying they taste very similar. Which one would you recommend? I tend to like the McKenna. I mean, they're, you know, it's a single barrel, so sometimes hit or miss. I tend to like the McKenna, Don. But, you know, honestly, that would be a fun blind to do. We should do that sometime. This next bottle is NV36. Not the greatest label design in the entire world. Um, little, little plain, you know, little, little simple. But it gets a point across. Mm -hmm. Nevada sipping whiskey, which means I don't expect a ton from it, honestly. Not as good as like that Jack Daniel 12 that Buck there is uh, sipping on. We're ahead on the Super Chats, but Buck is in Livingston, Louisiana, having some Jack Daniel's 12. I should be drinking that. I don't know if it's Jen, Jenski, but anybody know good bottles from Georgia besides 13th Colonies? Are they short barrel? Well, short barrel is like, uh, so 13th Colony, short barrels, they're not distilling it themselves. Like the stuff they have right now is not distilled themselves. They are having some stuff contract distilled, but their stuff is really good. Really good. Um, they also own the old fourth brand, good stuff there. ASW in Georgia is also doing really good stuff. That's what Joel said, ASW. So, I, you know, a lot of finish, a lot of stay finished stuff, which is not my thing, but it's still quality whiskey. Uh, this is premium small batch whiskey. Batch, I don't know, it's smudged. That's <laughs> it was two, five, one, I don't know, yeah, it's smudged. I can't tell. Um, so this is 80 proof, the lowest of all the proofs to call it a bourbon. The lowest? It doesn't call it a bourbon. It's a whiskey. Oh. What did we do? I don't know what we did. We what were did trying we to find local stuff. It was in the bourbon section. It was in the bourbon section. And I just grabbed it and didn't even notice that it does not say bourbon. It does not. It says whiskey. Uh-oh. So this is my fault, not theirs. Um, if I don't like this, because <laughs> I thought I was getting one thing, and it clearly does not say it's that thing. I got you a clean. Wet cork pop. You got me a fresh glen for a this one right one. here. And again, at the top of the hour, in about 30 minutes, we're going to bring in the folks from Old Soul Cathead Distillery, and we are going to do a barrel pick live on right the air here. for the Brusel Club. If you're interested in our barrel picks, there's a pending announcement coming pretty soon around some barrel pick releases. I'm not going to spoil that too much today, but let's just say you will be hearing stuff this week. Ah, update on my personal distillery. Moving very, very slow. <laughs> anyway, I sent somebody out there to do a bunch of quotes on the stuff we need to do to make it functional on a property we are trying to obtain. And uh, they're having to have some of their subcontractors and things come out and quote some stuff. And I'm hoping later this week, early next week, I'll have some numbers on what it's actually going to take. How does it smell? Oh, it smells light. Andrew it smells. Go ahead. Weller foolproof brusel lawnmower batch. <laughs> yes. Well, that video went out to some platforms today, so I'm sure we're. I think it went to Twitter or something today, so I'm sure we got some new folks just discovering and hating me all over again. <laughs> this it, it's. I would. I would expect that's in a small barrel. Like it, it's. I mean, it's just, it's, there's nothing bad about it. There's nothing good about it. Like, it's just, it's whiskey, right? Like, it's it's 80 proof. It's got some sweetness. It's got a little too much oak tannins, which Ooh. makes me think it's a 
a small barrel. Um, it's 80 proof, not a lot going on. Not like it's not, that's not something I would suggest you sip neat if you want a bunch of flavors. Like if you just want to throw something over ice and it has alcohol in it and there's no real off-putting flavors, that'd probably be fine. As a mixer, probably be all right. It's not going to add a ton to it except for a little bit of those oak tannins, but it's, it's all right. You like it? No. I mean... It's, it's the thing. It's the thing, right? Probably will never Yeah, it's not like, it's not something I would go back to at this point, but at the same time, I'm just like, if somebody poured it, I would drink it. Chris McMillan from West Virginia. Appreciate the super chat. Thanks for the support. Thanks for hanging Thank out. Thank you, Chris. Don't gifted five brutal memberships over on YouTube. Wow. That's awesome. Man. Super sweet. What's the difference in small barrel? It is the it is the um, surface area that comes in contact with the whiskey. So when you put it in a small barrel, not always. Some people are really good at this, but lots of times, you know, it's either small barrel or oak chips or oak staves. You get a lot of surface area to whiskey, and you end up with a lot of just oak tannins that can come across slightly harsh. You think a mic is owned somewhere else. I mean, maybe it's just now I've moved my mic down too far. It's Could it be the They did join. Yep. We got up oh, there. Yep. He joined and his mic's on. He's here early. Look at him. I didn't turn his I didn't turn his audio off. I turned one of them's audio off, not the other one. So if you were saying things, <laughs> people were hearing you. <laughs> uh, we're just right here, right here. You can see him now. Look, this is him. <laughs> And if he said things, I apologize. I, he didn't know he was live on air, and he didn't know that uh, that y'all could hear it. So um, sorry about that. <laughs> sorry. Oopsie. So we I told y'all this was going to be a little bit of a hectic show. I set all this up here at the last minute, and it was a little crazy. It was, you know, I got it working. I think we'll see. We'll see if we can hear them here in a minute. That's going to be the big <laughs> test if we can actually hear. Y'all will be able to hear them. I'm not sure. Apparently, y'all can hear them. I don't know if I'll be able to hear them. So There was a um, super chat. Minute. There was a super chat. Uh, Chris from West Virginia is the last one to show nope. up on the screen. Was he the last one, or did we miss nope, one before that? Missed there, right there. Griffin, there it is. I picked up a bottle of Ben Holiday Bottling Bond. Seven years. Delicious. Jill looking great. Thank you, Exceptionally Griffin. great this evening. <laughs> you added that. I, maybe I changed the words just a little bit, you yeah. know? Don't Thank want to you, get Griffin. you. There's only so much room in here, and I take up most of it. I don't need your head swelling up. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, I went back to it. <laughs> <laughs> like, I mean, I, we try not to. I'm not. I'm not hating no, on anybody, it's fine. right? It, I like, mean, if you want to try something local, Nevada, yeah. Just don't expect a ton out of this. Like, I would it, a mixer. You know, it's. Um, if you poured it over ice, it'd probably be all right if you're just not looking for anything terribly robust or complex. Not like this right here. But also, you could probably just walk into a store and find that. Good luck with the, you know, most of these other ones right here. Tommy says, how's the cellar aged? It's delicious, Tommy. It's Jill's favorite thing in the whole world, <laughs> apparently. <laughs> no, I didn't say that. I said it's delicious. Did you find your Starbucks mugs? We didn't even look for Starbucks mugs on this trip too much, did we? Yes, we did. You, well, we went we went into a few. Yes. Yeah, uh, no, actually, you went into the Rayleigh's and looked for them. That's yeah, right. Yeah, well, and actually Levi ended up getting me a Lake Tahoe one. Thank you, Levi. Thank you, Levi. I had found, um, which one had I found? Was it San Jose? I can't remember. I found one and then Levi it's picked not me even up. sure I was there. You were there. I was definitely blacked out. I was not paying attention to the Starbucks mugs. Every time I see one, I was I like, there's to, a Starbucks yeah. one. You got like 800 of them. I don't know what you've got and what you don't. You know what I did figure out, though? My Kansas City one that yes. I had is broken. Mm. So I need I a new Kansas City one when we go back to Ben Holiday. That's going to, it got postponed a week. I did? But we're still going. <gasps> yes. Got no. postponed a week. You can't go now? Well, I got to tell Joel and Kelby because. We need to tell them. You didn't tell me that. You got to keep I'm not good at telling going. things. I'm not, I'm not the guy that tells things. I didn't it was, see that. It in. was discussed in the chat. And it's all, it's, Grant's got to tell you these things, because I don't I didn't see know. It. I just show up where I'm told to show up. I didn't see it. Why well, you got to pay secondary prices on bottles? It's such a non-great example for the rest of us. I, so, McKaylee, um, welcome to the channel. I appreciate you hanging out. I don't know if you're new, 
but I don't usually pay secondary on bottles. Every once in a while I will. Like I, I, I think the only time I've really paid full secondary on a bottle is the Van Winkles I bought, but that was corporate. That wasn't even my money. It was somebody else's money. Somebody said, here's some money. We're having an event. Here's some money. All right, here's your date. We need these bottles. And I see those bottles for that money, and I need it by that date. Well, I took advantage of that situation because I don't like to be stressed out when the date comes around. Red Beard Builds with Super Chat. Appreciate the support. Uh, I haven't done any bourbon hunting in North Carolina yet, but we're going to get there. We are getting there. We are definitely getting there. Hip Daddy getting there? just picked up a Free Ranch Uncut. Haven't cracked it oh, yet. It's what so are good. you waiting on? It's so good. Crack that sucker open. Give it we a try. Had the, I had Let that me know what you think at of it. Free Ranch. That was good. Yes. You did have the, had the uncut. uncut. Yep. Um, and YouTube is dropping some ass. Sorry about that. Nordic. I, I normally turn them down, but there was a lot going on before this stream, man. We we uh, we stretching our capabilities here. Y'all gonna see me in a minute when we got four people. Me, my my <laughs> switching skills. We're gonna see. I, I haven't been typing a lot lately. We're gonna see how limber my fingers are. Ah, appreciate it there, Austin seven zero thirty three over on X joining us. What is X? That is Twitter, Jill. Oh. Where have you been? I don't know. Elon Musk bought it, and he decided to confuse everybody. Obviously. And he calls it X, but it's still Twitter.com if you go to the website. And okay. I didn't know what so, that was. Gotcha. I, I think he just had the domain. He's like, let's just see how many people we can irritate. Okay. Yeah, it's not a great idea. What do you drink when Alabama beats Auburn in football? <laughs> Well, I don't normally drink mm. after the game like that because I don't have that much self worth tied up into a no, football team we like move the on. Alabama fans do. So you know, I, we're see, Auburn the fans. Flip of that, we move on afterwards. The, yeah, the flip side <laughs> of that is, is I know you're probably not drinking either because you probably got arrested for shooting your cousin or breaking a TV or something. You know, if you're an Alabama, if you're an Alabama <laughs> fan, yeah, an Auburn one, mm. you're gonna have to Coors Banquet. That's what I'm drinking during the game for sure, James. Yeah. Oh, man. What are we trying? We've got 20 minutes. And then we got, like, we got the folks from Old Soul here just hanging out with us, looking and watching. Like, he's all kicked back over there. Y'all can't see him. Look, here, where? There he is right there, looking all, you know, sexy and everything. I don't, I don't know what all that is. Oh, he, oh, he's got one of those things going. <laughs> I he like got the one of those things That going. makes me want to go to Disney even more now. Or Poisoning Tumors Corner, Brett says. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. That did um, happen. Give me some more of that old soul over there. Do you want to try to get the other pick, or you just get I can't on reach all that right okay. now. That's Richard's pick. Yeah. I like Oscar's pick. I don't pick. know who Richard is. Whoever Oscar was, he picked a really good bottle. So we're going to warm up a palate here. What's the max I would pay for a George T? Ooh, okay, we got to go to Turtle Creek. I've heard. I've got some recommendations to go to Turtle Creek for sure. Um, I don't know, man. George T. Stag is normally like an $800 secondary bottle, and I am not a guy that likes to buy it for that. Uh, two, three hundred bucks, I'll pick it up. But when do you ever, like, honestly, I never see George T. Stag for under $700 or more than two. Like, it's always MSRP ish or $700 plus dollars. So that's typically what I'm paying for it there, Brian, is under $200. Edna Thomas says, you guys are so funny. Have you kept track of the money spent <laughs> and have on hand inventory? No. Who asked that? Which, which Edna, platform? Over here on How YouTube. do I block Edna? No, don't you block Edna. <laughs> that's a good question, Edna, that I really should be asking more often. Because I think the equivalent of what has been spent on bourbon could be one heck of a Disney trip. Sure, yeah. I mean, it'd be a great Disney trip. I mean, there's all sorts of weird things. Like, we could just rent the whole park if yeah. you want to get crazy. But <laughs> you ain't making no money back on that. True. Into BBQ, come to wine country. I'll take TJ bourbon hunting. My lady will take mm. Jill to the spa. So while I was at uh, SHOT Show, I met. That would be awesome. I met the sheriff, or a sheriff from Solvang, oh, the little Dutch the little town. town yeah. It's like, we gotta get back to Solvang, hang out with my man. We can get a, could we, could we go bourbon hunting in a police car? <laughs> well, I doubt That's it. what I want, that's no. what I want right there. Let's do that, that would be fun. 
No. And we're gonna get in the back. We're gonna get out in handcuffs and go in. Yeah, that would be that would be awesome. Yeah, no. I don't think that's gonna be possible. Uh, I don't. You don't know till you ask. Solvane is a good time there. ATV. Old Forester or Old Soul? It depends on what you're going for. I mean, we do have the Old Soul people like right there that are going to be coming on live here in a minute. And then you ask me questions to set me up there, my best pieces. Um, it's hard to beat a birthday bourbon. Uh, 1924 is really good, but those can be kind of hot and really hard to get. This, like what's better, a out of this world bourbon you can't afford or find? Or a really good bourbon that you can get at a store somewhere. <laughs> I, I pretty good. I danced around that one pretty good. I think. I think I pulled you it did off. A good I job. think I pulled good it job. off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't. He didn't give me a thumbs up though, so I'm not mm -hmm. sure if he was okay. There he is. He, he was good with that answer. Ah, <laughs> uh, you planning on meet up in that? No, I don't think we're gonna have time for a meet up, Jason. We're gonna go just hang out with them. And honestly, if there's a lot of folks in Athens want to do a meet up, we'll schedule something. We'll come back. And that'd be a lot of fun. Uh, we just got to go. We're going to go to the basketball game. And then the next day, we've got to jet and head over to Memphis. Again, we are doing an event at Old Dominic. We'll be there a week from today, 630. Uh, we've got a form to RSVP. But honestly, if you just showed up, we'd probably let you in. <laughs> I mean, nobody's going nobody's gonna to say no unless we end up with way, way, way too many people. So, and I don't expect that to be the case. So we're gonna have 150, 200 folks there. We are going to do a distillery takeover. They're gonna be given tours. We're gonna to live stream. We're gonna pick four barrels of Tennessee whiskey from Old Dominic next Monday. So we, that's why we gotta kinda of get out of town and head on over to Memphis to get set up and get good, get, what is it? Greg says Matt Crittenton found barrels of four grain coming to us. Who said that? Greg DJ G okay. Dub White. Huh? Greg White down Okay. There. Well, Lindsay Key, when do you go to Disney, visit Bronson Liquors? Then Ooh, everyone's happy. And then everyone's happy. happy. Not everyone's happy. Yeah, I keep saying we at least need to do the drinking around the world in Epcot. Like, you know. Uh, Greg, DG Dub, when you say they're coming to us, do you mean us? Are you? Is it the royal us or you mean y'all? You. Because <laughs> if they don't come to us, me and Matt may not be on speaking terms. Just say it. Like I, he said he's found like four or five barrels of four. I think it might have been five. I, I heard five, but he's got at least four more of those four grains. And I was like, put my name on every single one of them because I will take them. Chris McMillan in the chat with the War Eagle. War Eagle to you too, Chris. See right there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> he said War Eagle. He did. I saw it. See that mixers on top, man? I can't give my mixers away. I love my mixer stuff. Mm. I like this old soul right here, too. I do, too. Like, I really like that one. Oscar did a good job. I hope we do as well as Oscar did. Well, it, we can only do as well as the barrels they sent us. And, I mean, I'm not trying to imply that we got a lot of clout or anything because, you know... That would be rude of me to do, but I, you know, I may make a stink if they're not good barrels. I may just make a whole scene, right? You may see me just like crying in the floor. So I think they sent, I think they sent just to, just to avoid the risk of me crying, they're going to send us good barrels. Beach Sand, Jill be nice about how much you spent on bourbon. This is a bourbon channel, not a Disney channel. Well, I can still talk about Disney. I don't even want to pull those numbers from my, like, you you could just start a Disney Channel and then you could go to Disney all the time. I don't we have moved time for a Disney Channel. I'm too busy helping you with this one. I don't have a time fair, for that. Fair, fair. Thank fair. you, Griffin. You rock with the reviews, especially when Jill picked over Mictor's twenty. Yeah, you took the <laughs> Celerades over the Mictor's twenty. I That's, did. Uh, yeah. I did. You lost a lot of credibility right there, Jill. Why? I'm joking. I don't need credibility. Exactly. I I exactly. say what I like. Jake D says, hey, big sexy. Is he talking to me? He got to be talking to me because Jill's a little <laughs> sexy. <laughs> Louisiana Mictor's not hard to find. Ah, Sabrina, yeah, it depends on what Mictor's you're looking for. Like the cash strength Mictor stuff, the Mictor's 10, those are usually pretty hard to find almost anywhere. Uh, any update on your trip to Bourbon Hunt to, to Tijuana and Bourbon Hunting in San Diego? No, they haven't replied to my emails yet, but that should be coming up. Uh, they will. They will. 
Mike says it's about time I brought in. This is the first time you've streamed with me on TikTok. So this is the first time oh. your face has been on the TikTokers, I Yay. think, stream-wise, for sure. Um, that so makes me feel great. That you're on TikTok? Yeah. Why? I don't know. I'm What's special about TikTok? Nothing. I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> you, just like, now know. you put me on you all these hype, platforms. You to hype that up. I was <laughs> like, what in the world is going on? Matthew, are you coming to Spillway Wine and Spirits on April 6th? Yes, we will be in Brandon, Mississippi on April 6th. So we're going to pick a barrel from Old Soul on the 5th. It's going to be a little more limited, small group thing. Um, their distillery is still under construction right now. A little renovation going on. We are going to go there. They are going to um, bottle these for us that day. And then we're going to take the barrel and we're going to bring it to Spillway and we're going to set it up in the parking lot and we're going to do an infinity blend. So if you bring a bottle of wow. bourbon, not finished, you pour it in, we'll sticker the bottle. An unopened bottle. Unopened. Don't be getting crazy. Nope. Unopened. Non-finished, unopened bourbon. You pour it in, we'll sticker the bottle. End of the day, we'll pump your bottle back out. So we're going to do an infinity blend at the event. Will's got a bunch of merch he's working on. We're going to have, we're going to have a tent. We're going to be set up and having a good time. And hopefully, I can leave with 50 more bottles like I did last time. You think so? Yes. No, I would not. No. I will not. Uh, 10 or 20, like 10 really good ones. All I really need. 10 really good ones. I don't need more whiskey. That's really what it's boiled down to. I, I don't know where you would put it. Well, the new studio is about to be done. That'll hold another 1,000 bottles, do you? So we, we got plenty of room coming. Another thousand bottles. Mm -hmm. At least, at least another thousand. Oh my Infinity blend on Athens? Not in Athens. We're not doing that in Athens. Um, nope. That's not any it. better in South Dakota either, Dan says. Got the Redwood Empire Pipe Dream Cask Strength this weekend. I like it. Dude, I don't like it. I love that bottle. That's a fantastic bottle. Okay. Um, Midwinter Nights. Midwinter Nights Dram. Have you, you've had Midwinter Nights Dram. I believe so. Not my favorite. I don't really love, like, I think it's a port finish and mix of a bunch of different wine finishes. Not my favorite thing in the whole world. Um, so I like it. I just don't. I'll keep one on the shelf at all times just for other folks to try that come in and never had it. But I never sit down and pour that. I do have supposedly a High West Burai on the way, though. And I've oh, been, looking been looking for looking one for of those. That for quite some time. So cool. Michael's never seen a live on TikTok with such good quality. Well, thank you, Michael. I appreciate that. We're, we're glad, we, the quality we're glad you didn't tune in last week. It well, was, he wasn't on TikTok. Uh, we weren't on TikTok, TikTok last okay. week. We, uh, I think like TikTok makes you use your phone and it's not great quality. And so um, we're able to use the big streaming rig now with the TikTok studio. It took me four hours the other day just to figure out how to get audio to run through it, but all good. Mike says, are we going to Disney World in April? Make us smile every time Aww. Jill brings up Disney. So we should we do just like a brusal Disney takeover? Is that what we should yes. do? Yes. Just go, and then all the women go to yes. Disney, and all the men try to take over. Like, we'll try Absolutely. every bourbon bar in Come Orlando. On, people. Make this happen for me. Is that what we should me. do? Y'all let me know in the chat right now. Or Make if this happen If y'all want to do an Orlando takeover. You can all do the bourbon stuff. Let me go know. Go ahead. We'll set up a few. We'll do a meetup. We'll do, we'll set up some, uh. Some liquor stores that might want oh to do something goodness. cool. Find some distilleries down there. I don't know. We'll just we'll just go hang out. See, I'm with a Disney. Yes, yes, do it. It's only yes. three people. Only nope. three people. No, nope. there's only more. Three look, people. I'm yep. in. We are in. Come on, look at all that. That is plenty enough to say yes. We got to a that. tasting panel, and everybody goes and tries old fashions, and we got to like uh, you know whoever has gets the finds the, the best or actually. The, the highest rated, everybody rates it. Highest rated. Oh, gosh, a Bruzel cruise. <laughs> oh, oh, the Bruzel Disney cruise. <laughs> oh, my goodness. It's hilarious, New York. We were in New York a little while ago. Um, looks See, like look a lot at of all folks those. are liking yes. the Disney takeover. Yes. Idea, Jill, but these yes. people say yes to everything, Jill. They say yes to everything. You know how yes, many bad ideas? You know how many bad ideas I've had, and these folks are like, "Yes," and then I do it, and they're like, "Okay, I don't, I don't know who told you to do that." And that was nuts, man. Why would you do that? Well, you say you're always wanting crazy ideas. This is a crazy idea. I'm wanting feasible crazy ideas that people will get behind, and they seem to. Yes. I just don't know if that's uh, that may be quicksand right there. Well, we it may could even make solid. shirts okay. that match, and we could walk around Epcot and find bourbon. 
district around Epcot. Okay. That'd be fun. It'd be fun. I'm just telling you. It'd Jill's trying to find any reason right now to go to Disney. I know. <laughs> like, we've been married long enough. If I walk in and she's watching Disney folks, like, she'll do that sometimes. She'll do that sometimes. But if it's like two, three days in a row, and then all of a sudden she's, she's on her phone watching Disney stuff, that's what I know. Like, she's on her phone watching Disney stuff. She is planning a trip, and she's trying to find any reason to go. That is what she's trying to do. Ah, what are we trying next, Jill? We've got uh, nine minutes, nine and we are going minutes. to do an old soul store pick, Come bruisal on, pick for the bruisal club. Now we do have a few updates here, um, and uh, we are we have we're going to have an announcement this week on the next barrel pick release. We've got four barrels sitting there ready right now. And we'll do, like, we'll release to our patrons the review of those bottles before the pick is live. <laughs> Later this week, we expect to have a barrel pick release test with the new system that we are using to communicate about those barrel picks. So just be in patron. You'll get those notifications. Again, there's all the way down to a free tier. Um, so you don't, you don't have to pay, but obviously, if you want the more exclusive bottles, you're going to have to be able to move up to the right tier. Uh, but we've got four locked in. We are hoping a fifth one arrives before the release date. Um, we've got the short barrel bottles. We've got a short barrel Bee's Knees, two short barrel Toasteds, an OZ Tyler, which is now Green River, which is, you know, but it, it's a five-year um, OZ Tyler that we got from short barrel. And we're hoping that the still Austin pick is there as well. So... Donk, I live in Utah. I can snag you a burr rye. The state has 896 on wow. order. Oh, man. Those are impossible to get. Like, I, we were in Utah. I couldn't find them. Um, but does proof also mean how strong the alcohol tastes there will be? I, sometimes, yeah, mostly Stone Panda. Sometimes they drink more or less proof. Sometimes they don't. But, yes. Oh, man. Recommendation beginner burbers for someone who just started hunting bourbon. Uh, so over on YouTube, Jake, we are going to have a video, Top 5 Bourbons for Beginners. We actually go over eight. I want you to watch that, but because I go over why, I want you to try those. And it's it's kind of a long thing. So not just here's recommendations. It's really more of why I want you to try those. Oh, we've got tater stickers uh, just galore. Like only the only one that's not tater stickered is probably the one that, that is one of the most desirable ones. But... They had already labeled it. They were going to special release it in Georgia, and we stole it. I was like, I'll take it. That's mine. They're like, you want this? Yes. Tried it. Absolutely. It's mine. So we couldn't tater sticker that one, but all the rest of them's tater stickered away. Ron's Life, which pin, pin hook would you suggest? So I haven't tried them all. Um, you know, the pin hook stuff is MGP, but they've got the vertical series, which is really cool, where they bought a bunch of barrels from MGP. And they're releasing a blend of so many of those, I think, um, you know, 120 of those barrels every year from like four through 12. So right now they're on eight. So if I were grabbing Pinhook, I would grab that eight year release of that vertical series. Bert says the Burr Rye is on the way. Appreciate that, cool. Bert. Thank awesome. you. Awesome. I wanted to uh, bring up. Oh, these. you going to hit the mail before we get going? Yep, we the gotta duck do our nuts? Mail. Yes. So we got these in the mail. Um, they're called duck nuts. They're like peanuts. I think the product is duck salt. But There's then a they, product called duck salt. And then they just took duck salt and put it on the nuts, and now they've got duck yes. nuts. And but I was like, <sighs> okay, I want to read because I'm not going to eat these before I do a barrel pick, but pretty freaking good. I'll try to give you like the shortened version of this, but basically, duck salt was founded in 2011 by Matt Dayton after a devastating F5 tornado destroyed his hometown of Greensburg, Greensburg, Kansas. And then Matt unfortunately passed away and his friends bought the company and they are located in Kansas as well, Lewisburg, Kansas. And so they're honored to keep this a Kansas company and strive to keep duck salt and duck nuts a staple with your family and friends. And they are Jared, Jess, Delaney, and Maggie. And thank you guys for sending us these. We love them. 
Like this, we had two. We had two cans. And this is the only one we have left. Well, I went outside, <laughs> and me and me and Carrie were yeah. here from Red Clay. We're here smoking some cigars and drinking some whiskey. And man, they little maybe a little they're, too much. They're salty. Maybe I'll a little too much duck salt on the on the nuts. Be honest with no, you, they were I don't really think salty. So. I think they're but really good. But they're really good. good. They're I like really them. good. Two now, you tall have to Paul. like salty though, but they're really good. So thank you guys. Two tall. Let me catch up on the super chats. You got more mail. That's pretty much okay. all. Two tall Paul with the JD twelve for two hundred, JD ten for one fifty. That's right in my buy range for those. It's it's high into my buy range for those bottles. If I saw them and I didn't have one and didn't have a backup, I'd probably pick them up for that. Uh, Eric, if my wife let me buy as much bourbon as Jill allows, I'd send her to Disney quarterly. Also, Thank when you, are you heading to New Eric. England? One, Eric, don't be giving my wife any crazy ideas, okay? Thank Two, a louse? <laughs> Who you think's the boss around here, Eric? Thomas Donahue with the super <laughs> yes. Uh When we had to do it's it's going to happen this year. We don't know when, Eric. We're co-owners. We need to go before it gets like too cold. We're co-owners of all We're this whiskey. We're co-owners. Yes. We are co-owners of all this I did want to read whiskey. their message, though, because it was really sweet. You, I thought you From read From the duck notes. Okay. I didn't. I read the back of it, who well, they were. Then. You you rushed me through that. I wasn't rushing you. I just was, I thought you were So done. they said, it, the letter says, my wife and I lo love your content. It's fun to see... Bourbon shine as it as a true American classic. Simply wanting to say thanks and hope you like our peanuts. Enjoy. And we do very much like your peanuts. They are awesome. And I'm gonna use this on something. I don't know. What do you Duck use salt. it on though? Like, what would be a? I wonder. I'm sure it tells you all everything. Oh, everything. Steaks, fajitas, stuff. chicken ribs, burgers, veggies, popcorn, and pizza. Cooking ribeyes cool. with some duck salt. All right, we are going to need. Are we just gonna share? You tell me, boo. I think we need separate glens because we're going to have to be able to order them ourselves, which mm -hmm. means we're going to need 16 glen cairns. Look under here. I don't even know if we have 16 <laughs> clean. That's the problem. We, we'll work it out. We do. I think we do. They're just random. I have not watched all the glens. from. He did we not. Filmed, I filmed yesterday or day before yesterday. I have not. So I need eight and you need eight. Right? Eight and eight. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Griffin, I could get some good bottles. Hope to see you in Ohio. I have to do patron for sure. Appreciate the support there, Griffin. The patron is fun, the Brusel Club. We've got a lot of benefits and perks we're working on. These distillery takeovers, the, the barrel picks, like we are working on a lot more advantages. The app is going to be really cool. There's gonna be some advanced functionality there for Brusel Club members as well. So appreciate the support. Um, and uh, look forward to having you in there. And we're gonna, we're gonna get up to Ohio. We're planning a trip to Ohio right now, so. Um, I don't have the date. Grant might know a little more about when we're going to be in Ohio, but we're going to try to do some distillery takeovers while we're there. Maybe, maybe at least one for sure. So uh, we're definitely, Maine's going to be on the list. We're going to hit every single state on the East Coast this year. That is my promise. You, get, you need three more. <laughs> Are we one short? You can't wash them because A.A. Ron's watching. Oh, here's some. A. A. Ron is going to get us. A. A. Ron is the one that yes. did not want us washing dishes. Did not. So let's see if well, I can... Well, we are taking um, volunteers to wash our dishes then. If you We can't do it on the stream. We're the only people that wash on our stream. Okay, so now I've got an echo here. i got to find that echo real quick, and then we'll bring the old soul folks in here. Let's see. That one is... That one's muted. Oh, it may just be set to output here, so. Hmm, hmm, hmm. This might, we just may have to deal with our echo. Deal? That's weird. All right, give me just one second here. Oh, I need and to put this in here. Do what? I need to put this in my ear. Yes, but you're getting, you're going to get a good echo. That's fine. You think you can live with the echo? Yep. I'm trying to make sure it's not one of the outputs. Because we got all the outputs going, all of them. But I think they're all muted. So we might just have to live with it. This is very technologically savvy. 
Oof, I can't talk. Um, keep them entertained, G. Oh, I'm sorry. I was putting out all the bottles. Okay. Now, they're supposed to be in an order from lowest number to the largest. So why don't you read them and tell me what we've got. Let me get our audio working here, and then we'll be good to go. Lowest number to the highest. So we have 17K30-24. And then okay. we have dash 25. And then we have 28. And then... What's the next lowest? 161. Then we have 162, 163, 205, and 206. Well, there you go. Should I turn them around? <laughs> I mean, it doesn't matter. They them. don't have to be able to read them. We need to we be able to read them. them. So we have uh, Major and Abby from Old Soul. <coughs> And here they are. Let's see. I think Welcome. I'm a, little, I'm a little off, and he's a little down. So which, we'll deal with this. I'm going to switch after this anyway. So it doesn't, doesn't matter that we're not all the same. Can y'all hear us? Yeah. We can't hear Yeah, us. certainly can. Well, that's wonderful. Can you hear us? That's nice. Technical difficulties. We're going to fix it here, though. I'm going to fix it. Gonna we're fix learning. It. We're learning. I am going to fix it. Audio sounds compressed on TikTok. Sorry about that. Not a whole lot I can do about that at this point. So The chat can hear them. <laughs> the chat can hear them, but we cannot. So what I've got to do is I've got to turn my mic down, but not the master audio. So now, hopefully the chat can still hear us, and then can we hear y'all? I can hear y'all. Can y'all hear us? Fantastic. Yes, we can. We're going to kick up the volume here. And this is the first time we've had guests on this streaming <laughs> setup. And so um, this is this is where we're at. Does everybody hear everybody? <laughs> yeah. I'm going to bump y'all up yes. a, little, a little low for us here. So hopefully audio is coming through. Y'all let me know. And we are good to go. So Major, did I get that right? Yeah, you got it right, TJ. Nice. The spelling was a little unusual, so I wasn't I wasn't sure. Look, most of the time, like I'm not real good at pronouncing things. Just just so we know, like that's not my specialty. So I'm I'm liable. If I actually if I pronounce it right at this point, I feel like uh, it's an insult. Like I put too much effort into it. The good news is that uh, when when emails come through, I can tell if people are proofreading it because Apple defaults to manure. <laughs> is, uh, is is my spelling. So if, if you read if I, if I read an email and it says manure, it's like, hey, you didn't even check it to see what you said. <laughs> so That's Rooster hilarious. in the chat wants to know if y'all are down for the Brusel Cruise. Are y'all in? Tell me about the Brusel Cruise. <laughs> don't we don't this, know yet. <laughs> this is a, apparently this is a brand new thing that uh, we just agreed to do here is the Brusel Cruise. <laughs> So, uh, I mean, I, we like to party, so <laughs> we're down. Uh, I'm really into Disney, too, honestly. Oh, I see. So you're a Disney fan as well? <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, I am not a big Disney fan, and uh, it's there. It's a thing. There's a large... I grew up in the country, and so if we, uh, if we had rats, it was a problem. Like, we didn't pay extra for really big ones. <laughs> They came free, but, you know, we had to pay money to get rid of them. We definitely didn't spend thousands of dollars to go pet them or take pictures with them or anything like that, you know? You've had fun at Disney. I, uh, there, fun has been had at Disney. Fun has been had a whole lot cheaper on my couch. No. Just chilling out. So, but you drink around the world? Yeah, well, we've tried the drinking around the world. Jill keeps saying, we should go drink around the world. I was like, nobody wants to watch me drink around the world. Like, if we do that, let's actually drink around the world. That's what would be fun. So, uh, tell me a little bit about Old Soul. Yeah, um, I get started. Um, Abby kind of, Abby got this whole thing kind of connected with, with all of us in the distillery and um, Abby being based in, in Atlanta and I'm in Jackson, uh, at, at headquarters, but not currently I'm in Minneapolis. Um, 
And so, you know, we, um, from, from a, a distillery standpoint, we, we started in 2010 and started with Cathead Vodka, and we've got uh, several flavors, Cathead Honeysuckle, uh, Satsuma Mandarin, and, and Raspberry, and we've, we've got a gin and a chicory liqueur. But ultimately, the goal was to, to eventually get to whiskey. And so in 2018, we launched Old Soul Bourbon. Uh, at that point, it was only in Mississippi, and it was blended straight bourbon whiskey. So there was bourbon that was under two years old. Um, and then 2019, we started with uh, Old Soul Small Batch. So uh, whiskeys distilled in Indiana and in Mississippi, but all aged in Mississippi. And um, it was all four and five year old whiskey. And then we've kind of proliferated. We've got a, uh, we have Old Soul Small Batch. Then we've got um, our single barrel 109 proof and a store pick program and then we've got uh we have an lto program so uh the 10 type series has has really kind of um at least in the bourbon community has really begun to to get some traction for us as a, as a small distillery and it's been a, a really cool addition to the lineup but um that's how we got to to where we are as far as old soul but the company ethos and and who we are and what we're all about is supporting local community supporting uh local musicians um cathead is a is a term of endearment to blues musicians um and so it's it's for us it's it's about building a company and, and brands that that kind of can relate to everybody and it's not um just putting something out there to put it out there it's about building the brand from zero to where it is now which is um you know I mean, I really to, to be able to be with y'all tonight and and taste through some store picks, but this wasn't where the whiskey was um, even just you know four short years ago. So it's a it's a really cool uh, really cool experience for for both of us and and exciting to to move on with it. So tell us a little bit about these particular bottles that you've sent us today. I don't I don't know. Did you pick them? Did Abby pick them? Like who who chose these? Tell me a little bit about them. So what we did with uh, with these particular picks is myself and the distillation team, um, Gabe and Jace, our two uh, head distillers, we sat down and, and we, we what we tried to, so Old Soul and, and all of its iterations currently are the same mash bill. And so it's about finding different opportunities within that mash bill. And we sat down and, and this lot has been, um, we've had our eye on for a while. It's what we're using as our store pick program this year. Um, but the three of us sat down and what we really wanted to find, and I know TJ, I think you're a, a pretty big wheat fan and I don't want to, you know, compartmentalize into that. But um, what we wanted to find is that is a broad swath of barrel of, of single barrels that are different from one to the other. And, um, you know, not knowing really exactly what the club is going to pick or what the club wants. So we wanted to get some that were, you know, way out in left field, right? And then some that were kind of on the opposite end of the spectrum. And then we've got a couple in here that are super right down the middle and, you know, kind of hanging curveballs, if you will, from a bourbon standpoint. So um, really easy easy drinkers and, and things that um, – that can appeal to the masses. So we've got a little bit of everything. So we we sat down and um, all this came together, I guess it was last Friday, um, or two Fridays ago, excuse me. Um, and so we sat down this week at the distillery in Jackson and and just kind of identified some barrels that, that we thought were unique in their own respect. And then um, that's what we got to you. So hopefully, um, Hopefully we did our job right. You know, <laughs> Abby. These are the best barrels you have. That's what you're telling me. That's what I heard. I heard 100%. What it sounds like to me. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> you haven't tried them all. They're the, ones, they, they're the ones that we thought were the best for this experience. If that's Okay. Because every barrel is a good barrel, right? I mean, I mean I'd like I to meet know. the person that says there's, there's a bad barrel. I, I will let you know. No. Um, not all barrels are good barrels. Sometimes stuff happens. Sure. Yeah. 
And those goes so, in those go into blends. <laughs> That's the finishing series, right? We, we do something else. Yeah. The specialty picks, then, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so what are we? So we're going to go in order of lowest number to highest. Is that is that what you're thinking here? Yeah. Yeah, gonna, and there's. Go ahead, Abby. We're going to do these um, the numerological order that y'all had stationed out. But I wanted to ask. So I have some people whenever we do these picks we taste them all first and then we kind of go back in and talk about each one. Or I also have people that like to sip it, talk about it, you know, revisit it again after we've tasted all of them. How are y'all normally tasting these? Do we want to talk about it as we're tasting them or how y'all feeling? Yeah. Typically what we're going to do is we're going to go through them and then like no normally we're not doing this on a stream. This is actually the first time we've done this on a stream. Uh, typically it's just take your samples and you order them however you order them. And then everybody, you know, puts one through whatever number is and, um, whichever one has the lowest number or lowest, you know, total at the end is the winner. Um, and so that's kind of what we'll do, but we can obviously talk about them as we go. Um, I'll have to go through them and go back through them and then probably drink some more, um, to kind of figure all of that out. Right. But, um, it's a uh, it's process, and I'm okay with changing it a little bit if you want to do it differently. I'm up for anything. Yeah, I think it's yeah, I think for us it's, it's about what what works for y'all, and um, you know how we can kind of just generally talk about it. So, I mean, with that, I, th I think we just dive in, and then we kind of see where the conversation takes us. Obviously, um, whiskey being the um, the lubricant of conversation, if you will, I think we'll we'll have plenty to talk about across eight barrels. Uh, awesome. Uh, so I'm getting Chris in the chat saying my volume is low. Now their volume was high. My volume's exactly the same. It's been the whole stream. I think theirs might have been a little hot. So I brought it down just a little bit. Give it just a minute to make sure that goes through and let me know if I've got these more normalized. Um, Again, it, it was a it was a complicated setup. I think we've got it as good as we can get it, but I can continue to adjust the volume levels for sure. Um, so, all right, so we're starting with um, number 24. Is that what we're starting with? Correct. All right, so everybody here has a 24. Yeah, and just uh, real quick as we're doing it, shout out to our, uh, our production team for getting Abby samples to Atlanta and me samples to Minneapolis and y'all samples to Alabama. So we can do this from three different states, none of which are Mississippi. I couldn't even set up a live stream and they got all that logistics going. Give me a break. So we do these like one at a time, pour them one at a time. We'll pour them. Ooh, okay. Oh, that's already better than the two picks I got here. It's definitely, it's gotta be older. Oscars is great though. This is Oscars better. is great. I like this better. Yeah, this has got a little more oakiness to it. That Oscars um, pick, it was from twenty twenty two, and it's a pretty banging pick. It was. Yeah, it's a good delicious. pick. It's a good pick. I like what's going on here though. We got water, all professional like right here. Let's see if I can get back on the camera. I am live on YouTube, Nat. I'm live on all the platforms right now. We are live on TikTok, YouTube, Twitch, X, and something else. For Facebook, that's what it was. I knew there was another one. What TJ, think? Jill, what are y'all looking for in terms of barrel picks? I mean, what from a brand like ours, what are you, what are you trying to achieve in this whole I'm looking for delicious process. whiskeys. That's it. That's, those are the rules. That's a very simple rule. One rule. Number one rule. Well, there's a number two rule. Number one rule is, can I get delicious whiskey? And then number two is, if number one is satisfied, how much of it can I get? That's, well, those are the rules, man. We're not complicated man, folks. We just want a whole lot of delicious whiskey. I'll say, like... This one leaves me with a little more nuttiness than Oscars. Yeah, that mm -hmm. that oakiness definitely comes through with a little bit of nuttiness. And it's got that that kind of orange peel I get on a lot of the old soul stuff, that sweet orange peel and and you know, kind of a little vanilla caramel. This one comes through with a little more oaky nuttiness to me. What do y'all think? Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, toasted caramel, a lot of cherry on the nose too. I get a lot of that like stone fruit right there, but it's like a really approachable palette. And the proof, I mean, it's it's definitely lingering, which I yeah. enjoy too, but I don't think it's overpowering, which is nice. 122.36 proof for those yeah. watching at home. <laughs> um, yeah. I can't see the proof. They're it, on the side. It's, my hotel bed looks like a bar <laughs> makeup. And yeah. so I have a set of Glen Karens around my computer. It's, it's quite impressive. <laughs> and it looks like it, these are 75% corn, 22% rye. 21? 21% 20, oh, rye. No, it's, it's 21. I oh, can't 21? read. Yeah. yeah. 75%, 21%, 4% malted barley. And all of these... <laughs> It appears as though are six plus years old. Wow, that was really good. Like yeah, that. they're um, they they're all six plus. Yeah, yeah. B A yeah. says the only thing that would make this better would be if we all had samples too. B A, oh, we I, I want to do that at some point. The problem is, is if I send samples to everybody, one. Not sure the legality of that. Um, two, if we sent samples to everybody and then we picked the barrel, the barrel would be empty, and that wouldn't help us a whole bunch. Um, so we have problems there. But we are looking at possibly, once we get some things situated, maybe later this year, maybe next year, doing a tasting club to where we, we take some bottles, we sample them out. Maybe we buy a whole barrel or something. I don't know. We... We sample them out, we send them out to folks, you know, maybe you can subscribe and just get them in the mail. And then we just have one of these live streams to where we just try the same thing you're trying at the same time. Uh, they do that right now in the Discord. So if you're in the Discord, lots of Thursdays, they'll be go buy a bottle, everybody get together in the Discord, hang out and try the same whiskey at the same time. So yeah, Big J Rock says classic MGP mash. So all of these are going to be distilled by MGP, but aged in Mississippi. So they were sent there as new distillate and all the aging's been done in uh, Mississippi, correct? That's correct. Okay. Which is fine, and like so MGP's terroir. good. It's just, it we just wanna be transparent with it, right? And it's gonna get a different aging experience in Mississippi than it's gonna get in Kentucky. Yeah, 100% true. Yeah, that was, it, when we started, when Old Soul became a brand, that was a, a kind of a big sticking point for the, the co-founders, Austin Richard and myself as well, is not hiding anything from the consumer and not trying to deceive the consumer by any stretch. So even on our small batch, it, on the back of the label, it says these are two different whiskeys, one distilled in Indiana, one distilled in Mississippi. And that's the, look, it's good whiskey, right? And then we impart our, our, our terroir on it and, and our kind of climate that we have in Mississippi um, to hopefully what we think is and, and create is better whiskey and, and allow the oak to do its thing, allow our climate to do its thing. And then um, as a group, we pull it all together and, and send it out the door. So what do y'all think about pour number two there, Jill? Number 25. It's got a really vanilla nose, like shockingly vanilla, sweet almond. Kind of took me very sweet, by surprise. Very, yeah. very sweet, but I, I don't know. The oak comes across a little more harsh to me. Just a little, little more harsh on the finish. Mm -hmm. Compared to one, and I comparing one to two and two to three is I would compare them all to one another, but. I, I'm kind of with you, I think, TJ. I yeah. think it falls a, a smidge flat um, on the palate, just for my taste. Um, I think that it's got a nice body. It's got a nice nose. But I think once you you, you kind of hit it, it, it just falls down a little bit. And that's, you know, when when you're looking at a high rye content whiskey and, and a bigger kind of folder flavor of whiskey, you want that to, to hang around and linger. And you don't want the heat from the ethanol or from the alcohol to hit you here, but you want that spice to kind of hit you yeah. as it's going down and into the back end. And that's two to me doesn't, doesn't do that. Yeah, definitely not as good as the first one. 
Delicious. So the next one's going to be 28. You agree with that one so far on the second one, Jill? Yeah, I agree. I do too. Oh. And eight is a lot of samples. Normally, we don't get eight samples. When we go to a distillery, typically they're giving us four to six, unless it's a Rick House pick, and then those, Lord knows, it's just like, what do you want? One in a barrel. Um, so eight samples is gonna be fun. Our palates may be burned by the time we get to the last one. <laughs> so as it turned out, when, when all this went down and we were talking with Grant, um, I don't know what that was. Uh, but as we were talking to Grant last Friday, um, I was on my way back from Mardi Gras. And so eight may have been <laughs> my excitement of Mardi Gras to, to, to release upon the world. I was like, hey, let's do eight. Yeah, that's what I told Jill. Out. I was like, we've got, I think we've got six samples, Jill, in the thing. And Jill's like, um, yeah, I'm not going to, like, we're going to do an hour stream and then we're going to have six samples. Uh, so she was a little iffy when she thought it was six, and then she found out it was eight when we actually started counting the bottles here. Um, so we, I'm glad she took it easy for the first half. I'm good warmed up, though. So, What do you all think about three? Uh, wow. Better than two, not as good as one. Now, one was the first sample. You know, when I go back through them, I'm, I'm liable to change my mind. Uh, proof of B. People are asking proof. We need to start giving proof on these. The second one is 121.32 proof. And then the third one, which is number 28, is 121.59. So that first one is the highest proof at 122.86 so far. And what we don't see a lot of, which is interesting in our kind of in our, our barrel aging process. So outside of some specialty stuff that we're doing, everything's kind of going in at 120. We don't see kind of crazy ups or downs from that. Even at six, seven years, you know, everything kind of lives within five proof points of that 120 mm -hmm. mark. And I, again, I don't, I, I'm not looking at them in front of me, but we don't see a lot of variance there. And so it, for me, in, in terms of an experience, it's very much what is the individual barrel done to that particular 53 gallons of whiskey, right? Um, because there's not, it's the same Asheville, it went at the same proof, it's the same cooperage, and so there's there's so many constants that why are they different? And that's the exciting thing for me is that, you know, there is, we've gone one, two, three, and they are very three different barrels, um, but everything being constant, which is generally unique, right? It's not, we don't have a big 40,000 barrel rick house where you're pulling from certain elevation and certain position in the rick house our stuff's kind of done and, and when y'all come to mississippi we hope the opportunity to show y'all but our stuff is is it's a lot more micro than that and so um to have this kind of different variation with so many constants is a, is a really cool thing for us for our whiskey yeah it's definitely unusual that uh that they're all this close you know, if they're all within five proof points, that would be, I mean, is it just humidity? Like I, is it, like I said, just temperature, you think? That's definitely- I, We're still good. learning on that. Yeah, I mean, that, the, the humidity, um, and I don't want to speak out of turn, but our, I think our relative humidity kind of stays around 75%, um, which is high, obviously, compared to Kentucky. But it's, to, to me, it's more about, it's, it's about the hot and the cold, right? Um, whiskey goes dormant at 40 degrees Fahrenheit, whereas in Mississippi, and especially in our barrel aging facility, it might get below 40 degrees Fahrenheit, but it's not going to stay down there for very long. Um, it's, it's, so it's constantly working. And in fact, uh, when y'all are at the distillery, I'll show it to you, but, um, where we used to store the barrels in the distillery, there was a, a, a window where the sun shot in towards the later end of the day. And in the, like the June, July, August heat of Mississippi, the sun shooting in, that room's hot. You could actually kind of hear the barrels seething a little bit. They were, <laughs> there was noise coming out of it, which was wild to hear. It's like, 
Yeah, devil's doing its doing its job. The boil right now. He's, yeah. <laughs> so you I, like I, I, I mean, see, you like the third one. I like. You've got letters. Nobody else has letters. Oh, do you yeah, say I'm C? Sorry. Nobody knows one. what you're talking about. <laughs> I like the third one. Okay. I like the, the, third, I, one I like the third one as well, but right now I'm leaning toward the first. first yeah. We'll see as we go back through. Like first sample is always a weird one, Ooh. even though we were drinking some whiskey, getting our palate warmed up. That first sample can fool you, and then you go back through, and you just never know. Well, especially when you start at 122.3 proof. Yeah, <laughs> yeah for sure. <laughs> J-Rock has a good question in the chat. How much, uh, what, what's your angel share? Like, what is your evaporative mm -hmm. loss? I don't know the exact number on that major, but I do, I can give you an example. So I did a store pick um, with an account in Georgia, and usually whenever we're kind of telling guests and customers how much we're going through and how much we're um, going to be able to produce in a barrel, usually it's around like 30-ish cases. With this, they received 17 cases on their barrel. So it was almost half loss on that. So it, it varies and it, it's a big range that it falls in. Um, and to kind of piggyback off what Major said earlier, it, it just makes the whiskey unique, you know, because you're not really sure what's doing it right now. And it being so hot and humid in a non-climate controlled rickhouse, I mean, things are going to happen. And you can kind of taste that as we're experiencing them. But I like the fact that there's so much corn in our mash bill that allows for those sweet notes to translate through. Yeah, definitely. A de it's definitely a sweeter bourbon. Uh, Mika in the chat says, Bruzel's feeling the whiskey. I can see it in his eyes. Mika, I pen a kitchen like 800 things here. Like there's a, you, that's what you see in my eyes is the panic that maybe the audio levels are not good. Maybe I forgot to switch it to something like, it's the panic, man. It's not the whiskey yet, but the night is still early, man. Hang around for a little while and maybe, just maybe, you can see the whiskey get to me when we're eight samples down and I've gone back through them three times. And then after this stream, you could jump over in Discord. We're gonna have a supporter only chat where you can ask me questions and see if you can stump me with the whiskey getting to me. But you won't be able to see But you eyes. will not be able to see my eyes because that's voice only. Okay, so what's, like, I have a new favorite. Okay, this last one's your new yes. favorite? I like okay. this last one a lot. This last one has all of the stuff I like on the first one, but without as much oakiness. Yes. Okay. Jill, it keeps, I, I'm seeing a trend. First was your favorite, then second was your favorite, then third was your favorite. Now fourth no, I, favorite. I never said the second. I never said the second one. Okay, okay. That one was out. <laughs> Jill, the deeper Jill gets, the more she likes this whiskey. But I agree with you. What well, I didn't what I was about to care say. for. Yeah, like what I didn't like. They're all on good. Any, this one has got all that, but it's it's softer on the finish. It's like butter pecan ice cream. That's, it, that's exactly why I like it. That's your favorite ice cream. <laughs> that is my you favorite ice cream. You stuck a note right there. You sold it there. That is, yeah. It does is, not matter what the rest of them taste like. That is, now that's that you've it. said We're that done. note, Jill's all in on that <laughs> this one. Over. Okay, this is our barrel. <laughs> So here's a question we didn't ask, Jill. How many barrels can we buy? Oh. <laughs> Major answer that question. <laughs> um, I, I kind of came into this with with limited understanding of, of y'all's general presence, but an understanding of you. You can buy every one of them. Okay. We got... Oof. Mm. <laughs> He put that back on me, didn't he? I, I was <laughs> yes, expecting he a one, maybe a two, and now he's like, you can have eight barrels. Um, yes, Bruce so. Grant, that does sound like a proof queen barrel. Like, I think that that might just be mine. Proof queen barrel. Proof well, queen like barrels. Yeah. Yes, Jill is the proof queen. She likes the high proof. I like high is proof. That, that one is not the highest it's proof. Not the it highest. Is a, that's actually the lowest proof we've had so far. Really? At 120.82. Wow. Well, it's still delicious. Yes. No pressure. Yeah, I put him right on the spot. I ain't, I ain't like, what's he going to do? Say no? Maybe, but that'd been cool too. Like, I'm down with it. I can handle no, whatever no, answer TJ, I get. It's, it's, it, for, for us, for y'all, it's, it's what, you know, what's the consumer demand? What do y'all want to, to, to buy, release, and, and move out into your club? And, you know, 
as long as we're putting out quality product and we're putting out the right barrels and, and the right, you know, opportunities, then we're, you know, we're open for business. We're, we're a small distillery trying to grow our business and our brand. So. All right. So y'all let me know now what, what is a typical barrel pick price on a old soul barrel pick? 74.99 is the retail price. On okay. So cask it's strength, 74.99. If it were $75 right now, if you're watching this in the chat, Hit me with just a simple yes. Any platform you're on right now, hit me with a simple yes. If you would be interested in a bottle of one of these old souls right here, if we pick it up, that give me an idea of the demand, and then we know how much we need to buy. That's Pete, a lot of yeses. There's a lot of yeses, That's and a lot that of rolled yeses. the super chat right on app. Bowman Brothers Small Batch, my latest favorite. Highly recommend there from Puckett. Appreciate the super chat. That's uh, a lot of oh, yeses. Oh, there's there's. Let's see. YouTube is yes and away. Facebook is yes and away. We got some TikTok yeses. Well, okay. Make sure y'all are in the Bruzel Club. Okay. Go to pra go to Patron, Patron.com forward slash Bruzel. There's at least a free tier. So you know, higher tier better. Free tier at least. You know, if they all get through and we end up buying way too many, they'll be there. So. Y'all let me know, but apparently we got a we got a yes from Mississippi even over on TikTok. Hey. So yeah, yes, we get it. So the Bruzel Club ships to as far as I know right now, we're still waiting on some confirmation, but we should be able to ship to every state except for Michigan and Utah. And then we'll be able to ship to Michigan. Honestly, by the time well, if y'all bottle these in April, probably not Michigan. So not Michigan and Utah. But we'll or be able Europe to ship yet. we'll by then, we'll be able to ship to probably six countries in Europe. Yeah. Whoa. Uh, so there's there's a demand. I don't know how many yeses that was, but it was um, a lot. It was a lot. Chris says the volume's low, man. Just turn the speakers up, because I've done all I can do. Sorry about that. We will try to be better next time. And this is going to be the butter pecan right here. Have you got, you know, what which one are y'all on? I, yeah, I've these had are in order. Long like, day travel, right. so I don't we know are, where y'all are. Five. Well, this is we five. just tried 161. Yeah, so now we're starting on the fifth one. 162. We have oh. done 24, 25, 28, and 161. And 161 is not good. Where are you at? I'm right with y'all. I, okay. I, I haven't gone ahead or behind. I'm, I'm just... It, we, it we turns talk a out, lot. it's colder and... It's cool. It's colder in Mississippi than it is in Minneapolis. When I got here, everybody was like, are you prepared for the cold? I had an Ole Miss uh, sweatshirt on. They're like, are you ready for the cold? And I was like, yeah, sure, whatever. And I walk out, and everything's iced over, and there's snow everywhere. But it's not cold. Right. I was, I, it's cold here. Frankly, I'm a little bit. Yeah. I left Jackson this morning, and it was like 38 degrees. And I get up here, and it's about the same, but it's not the same. It is a different kind of cold for sure. Nessa Kim, the butter pecan is 120 proof. There's just so much. Fun. Don Prince in the chat saying War Eagle. War Eagle. <laughs> he's not, he's, he's saying oh, these he's other saying the old other miss thing. words. I'm not, I'm not repeating oh. those. He's saying the other things. Do y'all know, so, I'm an old Miss guy. Do y'all know my buddy Jay Tate that works for um... JG Tate? Yeah, JG. Yeah, I know. I know you're talking about. Like, I don't know him personally, but I know who you're talking about. I watch some of his content. He's a heck of a. He's a. He's a big supporter of Old Soul and has been a big proponent of ours. And we go back a long ways. JG's. Uh, he's good folks. I know he's a whiskey guy. We should have him over sometime. You should. I got a pone to pick with you, TJ. You got a, did you say a pone? Did you say a pone a to pick with you? You said a pone, you have a pone. Go ahead, pone, go ahead yeah. and pick your pone while you're at it. <laughs> Tell me about we this pone about you got. Pones later. I noticed behind your head earlier in the live stream, previous videos I had, you had some of our tintype back there. And that's no longer back there. So well, I just got, wanted to got, ask somebody that. got it down and drank it, and it got moved, uh, or some <laughs> stuff just got set in front of it because we're out of space. It's still around. I need a number two, uh, but it—I guarantee it's behind some stuff up there. Guarantee you. 
I mean, I'm, right. I'm all zoomed in right now. I'm all like big head, um, so you can't see it, but it's it's up there somewhere. I also noticed that you have K. Luke back there from Jonathan Mazzano and the orange label. Are you picking um, a phone on that one too? <laughs> I, no, I, I love <laughs> Jonathan Mazzano is a pun. He's Dude, a if pun. we're talking Mississippi, if we're talking Mississippi, like, I, I like Mazzano's too. But, you know, he buying whiskey, he's blending it. He's really good at blending it. He's got some great blends. You know, you folks are sourcing in MGP. We got some really nice barrels here. But mad respect, we got to throw some respect on Matt Crittenton's. Down there in South Mississippi, just make it like, he just like, hey, I'm a guy, I made some whiskey. And uh, come come hang out in my really hot metal building and let's drink some of it. Uh, love that guy. No doubt so about There's a lot it, of good man, whiskey man. in Mississippi is what it boils down That's to. That's what I, yeah. I'm like, Mississippi. Yeah. Matt's done a, Matt has done a phenomenal job. And he's he makes great whiskey. And he um, the way he represents himself and his brand and everything is great. And. You know, it, it, it continues. We're, we're big. Rising tide raises all boats, right? Um, so us doing well, Matt doing well. And then even down to the retailer level, y'all are y'all are close with Josh, and Josh is doing a, a bang-up job at, at Spillway. And, you know, Jamie Ferris down at Lincoln Road in Hattiesburg has got a national following. And to kind of your point of what Jonathan had done up until this point, and so we've got – Mississippi, not only does it have a couple cool ass distilleries, but we've also got some retailers that are really kind of on the cutting edge and have really kind of started this, what what we're doing now, 14 years ago, this wasn't a thing. Um, sure. People were trying to give away barrels. And, you know, you look at Jamie with Lincoln Road and you look at what Jonathan did and you look at all these other retailers and, and how they've kind of built up their business around being bourbon guys and and we've got a restaurateur in jackson that's a, a huge friend of ours and i hope that y'all get to see why you're here his name's Stephen o'neill and he's been a supporter of ours from from the day from day one and uh, he's probably got the best whiskey selection in mississippi in terms of his restaurant back bar and so while we're not known for it um it's something we take a hell of a lot of pride in for sure absolutely so we got a lot of folks in here talking about they need a tin type. Tell, like what what makes the tin type special? I mean the whiskey, obviously. Well, yeah, but what is it like? What's um, different about the tin type versus like your normal stuff? You know, it's it's same Asheville, um, but what we do is we identify. I can see it behind Abby's head, and yeah. she's probably going to get in trouble. Um, but <laughs> what we do is we identify barrels. We make a blend, and then what? What's really cool about it, honestly, the whiskey's really good, and and I don't want to take away from the whiskey, but what makes the tin type cool is, it's Cathead's commitment to blues musicians and artists, and and where kind of America's music came from, and so the tin type series itself is is tin type photography. Um, yeah. a, a, a fellow named Tim Duffy who owns Music Makers Music Relief Foundation in North Carolina. Um, he's committed to preserving the blues and the heritage of Mississippi. And so that's kind of the roots of Cathead Vodka. Um, and that's where we came from. And so the Tintype series itself, it's a packaging thing, but it's also, you know, it's from a whiskey standpoint, it's what we like. And so our distillers, our two founders and I, we all kind of sit down and we taste through hundreds of barrels. It's arduous, I know, and not everybody would want to do that. It's a tough life, man. It's such a, such a hard life. job. Yeah. It's tough. But we taste through a lot of them and then we build a blend that we think represents those musicians in a respectful manner. And so the personal touch and care and love that goes into that is what makes Tintype Tintype. It's not just package it's not just a proof it's there's a hell of a lot that goes into it and it's a really cool series of ours and frankly i appreciate you asking about it yeah it's definitely a good release so if you find yourself uh, staring at a tintype i su i strongly suggest you grab it 
Um, I found mine. We yeah. went through Mississippi. There, there's still a lot of them around Mississippi. They're a little hard to get everywhere else. Um, all right, so we're moving on to number 163 here, and this is 120 proof. Are we all on 163? This one's a I little dusty. I jumped ahead, but I'm back. You jumped ahead? Okay. <laughs> we were listening to you talk. We didn't want to get ahead of you, but you were already <laughs> drinking the next one. I mean, it's, Monday, it's just so. kind of the way. <laughs> <laughs> now it's starting to get like, there's a, there's a glut in the middle here of my, you know, there's like, here's some standouts and here's some that are all good, but about the same. So we did a deal, uh, TJ and Jill, probably, I don't know, two or three years ago with a retailer in Texas. And I brought 15 samples to ultimately pick five, Ooh. right? A three to one ratio, kind of pretty normal. And the way that we did it was we did it in sets of five and we kicked out things we didn't like. And so it was instead of identifying barrels that you loved, it was let's kick out the outliers. And it was just a unique barrel sampling. And so I, I say that to say that eight is not 15, but it's still a, it's a, it's a big number to, to kind of run through and figure out what you want. And so if there's things that stick out that you don't like, let's move those out and then let's focus on the ones that we do like. Uh, yeah, I mean, th this is, that sounds way too organized. We're just gonna, we're just gonna keep this one shit show the whole time. Um, this one is the highest proof one, I think, out of the bunch. The next one, what's the number? 205. 205 is 124 proof. What? Ooh, and that is <clears throat> dusty, man. Oh. I like that. A little dry, but really dusty and oaky. Mm. Gotta like the oak, though. What are y'all's thoughts on that one? Number one, or 205, excuse me. I had to add some water to it, because I agree. It's pretty it hot. Definitely, it was a lot. <laughs> But it doesn't, I mean, yes, it's 124, but it's not drinking like it's 124. It's much more mild. What are your thoughts, too? Um, she's marinating with it. Yeah. I'm thinking of <laughs> <Let> it. <spin. laughs> I, I I like it, but I I'm not thrilled with the dry. It, yeah, it's got a, it's got a little dryness to it for sure. Hmm. Um, I like the flavors that are going on, but oh yeah, that dry finish is not for everybody for sure. It reminds me of something. You're gonna have to share what it reminds you of. <laughs> you, gotta, you can't say it reminds me of something. You got to come up with something it reminds yeah. you of. <clears throat> I do that a lot. I, I'm joking because lots of times I'm sitting here having a pour and I was like, man, that is, that, that reminds, and I just never can come up with what it reminds me of. So I just leave everybody hanging, like the, no closure on that whatsoever. That's really good though. Right. And it's, it's definitely got that like leathery note that you want in it, but it's not as orange forward as the rest of the ones we've tasted yep. tonight. So it definitely is a burn. Well, it tames yeah. down a lot of that kind of fruit forwardness and you know, it just. Like the middle of my tongue is burning. Maybe I'm drinking it. Yeah, it's well, got I mean, a it's big a wet tobacco. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's it's a big whiskey, right? Like, right. this is the biggest of the ones that we've drank. And it's, mm. it's, there's a lot going on. It's almost like a jungle gym in your mouth where everything's just bouncing around. but 
what you what you land what I land on specifically is the heat and the spice of mm. of the rye kind of Jill to your point right in the, on the tongue. I mean it's it's a big bold whiskey like yeah. I mean It'd pair great with a What I like Yeah. What I drink and what I like, this is right in that wheelhouse. This is mm. this is a, a hanging curveball for me. Like, if y'all don't pick it, we're gonna pick it for the distillery pick. Oh, it's definitely in my top three yeah. list. I'm gonna go back to here in just a second for <laughs> sure. Uh, but I said I, I was told I could buy eight barrels, so that, you know, <laughs> I don't know if it's gonna. I don't know if it's gonna survive. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> John Gresham says, "Tell Major hello." Gresham, what's up? <laughs> Is this the last, last one? one? We're on the last sample, and then we have to go all the way back through them to nail down <laughs> the the standouts. You've already poured this one? Yes. This one is number 206, and it is 122.52 proof. It's like a jungle gym in your mouth. <laughs> Things you don't hear every day. Ooh. What is that smell? That's whiskey. I know that. Oh my gosh. I don't know that I tasted this one. I think they gave and Chase may have snuck this one out. I have to taste What do you think of this one? A lot. I have a lot of thoughts about this one. Well, I mean, we're on a live stream. I would appreciate it if you could share some of them. <laughs> I mean, I... Wow. It is a very well-balanced whiskey. It's, it's got the kick that it needs to have. It doesn't fall flat. It's got the traditional kind of vanilla caramel stuff going on. It is a... I mean, it's... This is something I would take to Thanksgiving dinner. It's definitely got the body to it that you want to kind of last through like a dinner. Um, <laughs> but it still has like a lot of great like spice notes on the back end. So yeah, balanced. That's a really good descriptor for it. I think it's, yeah, that I would take yeah, it to Thanksgiving I dinner. I was like, I just, I, I'm, my instant thought was that she's hanging out with different people than I am at Thanksgiving. <laughs> but yeah, I got you. That's cool. <laughs> yeah, I, don't, I took a bunch I of moonshine to a, Thanksgiving last year. Nobody drank any of it. <laughs> from a bourbon standpoint, like traditional bourbon, this is probably that. And and the and as it relates to these eight that we've tasted, this is the most straight down the middle. But it's it doesn't strike me as something that's bland or or not unique it's 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 got big bold loud flavors but those flavors are accentuated through the through obviously consuming it but it, it's just I, I think it's a i think it's a really 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 good barrel this one's interesting to me because it, it honestly might be the like overall the if if that were the first pour the second pour of the evening there is a lot going on. It might be the most complex one. You know, some of these are great because the oak stands out or that, you know, that interesting dryness that's a little different. This one is a little more mainstream, but there are a lot of flavors going on there. Mm. This is a, it's a really good barrel. It's, yeah. there's a lot happening. I just, I swallowed it probably 15 seconds ago and I still have all kinds of things dancing around. <laughs> that Mississippi to <tawar>. war. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So now we have got to figure out how to narrow this down and, and buy some whiskey. So typically what we do is just go back through them, confirm some suspicions. What I say here is let's go back through and narrow this down to four. Right. Um, so let's, let's cut it in half and then let's see where we're at from there. Um, cause I think I have four clear favorites out of this group 
but I want to I want to go back through them all and just confirm that. What do you think, Jill? I mean, you don't have to go back through if you just want to nail down your four. Okay. But I, I, looking at yours and mine, our four are very different. Really? Yes. Uh, well, no, no. You are you pulling the your favorites closer to you? Yes. Then we're yeah. No, we're good. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah. My favorites are further away from me. That's not how the system works. Well, we got different systems, Jill. <laughs> no, you copied okay. my system. I, and well, you I, I copied it and I improved it. Closer to you. See, Thank you. No, that's Jill. Not Jill, you bring your favorites closer to you. Well, that's Don't because y'all. Your favorite people close to you? It's yeah, because y'all are conceited. Push them away. You're pulling them to you. I'm putting them toward the audience, even though oh, they can't see right gosh. now. I'm oh, more about the folks we're sharing it with, great. and y'all are all selfish. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Uh, that's I see how not, you turn that around. We're just trying to bring the people that we love into our inner circle. Yep. I see how you <laughs> turned all that around. You're in the inner circle, Fokker. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So, what's your. Jameson says I'm wrong. I, in this case, see? it doesn't matter if I'm wrong or right. What matters is I picked the right barrels of whiskey. <laughs> So let's not mess there up the system. Go. I've already, I've committed to this system for tonight. Yep. We can debate the merit of this moving forward and we can do differently <laughs> in the future. But right now I don't want to pick the wrong barrels of whiskey, okay? There's a lot on the line. The stakes are extremely high <laughs> and I need to get this right. So I've, I'm committed. We'll evaluate, fair, everybody else agrees I'm wrong. I'll take it. I'll own that L. I'm wrong, but I don't want to mess up right now. So I'm going to stick with it. Look, okay, I never, I never wind up on the side with my wife, or really anybody. I'm always kind of out on an island on my own. So I'm just, I'm really, fr I'm grateful to be on an island with other people that agree with me right now. So, yeah. Can we do? Welcome to the island. <laughs> Even though you're like six inches shorter than everybody else on this island, according to the uh, video framing, I tried to move you yeah. up, it didn't work. And I'm in Minnesota. I mean, for crying out loud, it's cold up here. It is cold. Isn't that where we went for the um, basketball game? It is where we went. We, we have been to there. Minneapolis, yes. For sure. Very the, cold there. Uh, Viking Stadium is right outside my hotel. Is that where we went? We did not go to the Viking Stadium. Oh, no, that's football, We went right? to watch basketball. We, walk, we yeah. had to watch basketball. It's a ring of trust, Rain says. <laughs> um, all right, so let's go back, go back through. I, Me and Jill... Based on inverting our results here, looks like we're on the same page as far as our top four going through the first time. But like, no, you want to go back through because number one will oftentimes fool you. Yeah. Right? Like, it'll make you a fool. Okay. So, so like let's roll right back now. through. Like, right now, and let, we need to keep people entertained, so somebody needs to do some talking. But let's go back through. Let's narrow it down to four, and then let's discuss that four. Okay. Start at the I've end, narrowed right? narrowed it down to five. If that helps. Well, that's a completely different number. There. I don't like. I don't know if you know how math works, but four equal five doesn't actually work. I'm torn a little bit because I do like. The so I like. I like one because I, I think it's got great spices. It's it is a spicy whiskey. It's not. A hot whiskey, but it's a, it's got great spice to it. I like one in that respect, in that respect only. It is like fireworks, you know. Okay, I may be I like, like delusional here, but the last one we tried, when I tasted it, again, I totally get like a cinnamon bun. Like, hmm. is that what you get? No, you're delusional. Oh, okay. I can taste it. I can taste I tasted t complete like a cinnamon roll, cinnamon bun. That's why it's in my top five. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, who doesn't like a cinnamon bun? I know, exactly. Like a warm one. You know, not the cold one you get out. Yeah. Like, Nobody wants a cold one. Right out of the gas Everybody station. Everybody likes no, out of the gas station up. in the microwave. Yes. Right Everybody right likes their buns warm. <laughs> A.A. Ron in the chat says, this is not Minnesota cold. It's 35 degrees. That's cold. <laughs> yeah, well. It's not, it's cold. A. A. It's, Ron. That's Mississippi freezing. That is Minnesota summer. 
So I did. It's funny you say that. I, I sent an email to somebody that we work with up here, and I was like, hey, I'm coming up next week. And they're like, we're not going to be here. We're going to be in Vegas, but the weather's going to be beautiful. And it was like low 32. And I was like, well, that's not beautiful to anybody. What are we doing? <laughs> Sam says, A.A. Ron is back. It's a, dude, we got a lot of A.A. Rons. I don't think it's the same one that got mad at us. So, different A.A. We got, last stream, maybe a stream before last, we got a gentleman that was extremely upset that we were rinsing our Glen Cairns during the live stream. He was extremely frustrated by this. Um, so, I doubt that A.A. Ron Can't is back. Can't wash dishes, apparently. There's lots of A.A. Rons. Oh, somebody set up an A.A. Ron dishwasher account and started commenting. That was hilarious. Okay, eight might be too many. I'll be honest. My palate's kind of shutting down on me here a little bit. I may have to go to my like, Dr. Pepper rinsers. Like 28 a lot, too. Um... The third one we tasted, okay, it definitely has like a cream sickle, like an orange cream sickle vibe to it because it has that super orange nose. That's pretty tried and true and old soul, but it's a smooth finish on the back. I think the most. What's the best word I'm looking for? Controversial is not the best word, but the one I'm most uncertain about is the last one. Um, I liked it, but going back through, it's like, is it in my top four? There's like, there's like four of them here competing for fourth. I have an opinion on that. Well, share it with people. Come on, Major. What are you? You know, you don't. You don't just. You can't just say I got an opinion. Like, just go ahead and spit the I opinion out. I think number four is the most is the most unique of the eight that we've tasted. Or excuse me, number eight is the most unique of the barrels that we've tasted. Um, I think it hits on a lot of points. I think it's got the high proof that a lot of people are looking for. I just think it is. I think it's frankly a badass barrel. I don't, you know, is if I'm picking one barrel, is that the barrel of these eight that I'm picking? Probably not, but it's in my top two or three, and it's 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 a really, to me, it's a badass barrel. It's a it's because of its uniqueness, because it is unique, okay. um, especially as it relates to the others that we're talking to. I mean, you sold me. It's sold. I'm done. I'm locked in. I'm locked in on my top four. Locked in. Right. And then we'll go back through the top four, confirm we want those. And we might we might take, I don't know, we, we probably got like 50 yeses, which is not one barrel. But then maybe we, like, I don't, definitely not four barrels. So here here's the thing. I get excited, and they liquor me up. They give me a bunch of whiskey, and then I buy a bunch of barrels, and then I have to stress out whether or not we're going to get rid of these barrels. These are fantastic. The top four are absolutely exceptional for sure. Um, so make sure you're joining the Brusel Club if you want to be a part of these. We go do a lot of these tastings and barrel picks on site as well. If you're a Brusel Club member, you get a chance to uh, at least submit to join us on one of these picks. Like I said, next Monday, we're going to be at Old Dominic. We're going to be doing a pick there. You can definitely join us on that one. So uh, really just go to Bruzel, go to patron.com forward slash Bruzel. At least hit the free tier. There's some other tiers if you want it. Help me out because it appears as though I'm going to buy way too much whiskey this evening. I would appreciate the it. The good news is, is you can never buy too much whiskey. Yeah, there's no mm. thing. Ah, you know, there is no if you're if you're needing too much, if you're needing to get rid of the whiskey, so what I what I, my goal my goal is to find as much good whiskey as I can to bring it to other folks, especially stuff that maybe maybe is regionally distributed or they haven't tried or is a little harder to find. 
Um, what I don't want to do is have to sell my house because I bought too much whiskey. Um, so I, there's a line. There's a line I'm trying not to cross. Um, I might cross it tonight. I don't know. We're going to find out. <laughs> don't cross that. <laughs> We're gonna find out. I gotta. The problem is, is I don't know if I'm at like sell the house line for months. Um, so we won't know tonight whether or not I've got to sell my house. But if y'all see me all of a sudden streaming from a mobile home or a small camper or a van, you'll know I bought too much whiskey. Rules are made to be broken. I was I was born by that. I've been bred by that. That's how we're gonna approach this. Well, we don't have rules, so they're, like they're not meant to be like they're guidelines. The guidelines are designed to keep TJ from doing crazy stuff because I just get excited. I get excited about things. I love stuff, and it's just like this is exciting. Let's just, yes. And every once in a while, somebody's like, "What were you thinking?" And I was like, "I, I wasn't. That was really fun. We just did it." So um, WC says I have deep pockets. Um, he has not had his finger in my pockets because they are fairly shallow pockets at this point, but like a whole barrel, like some bottles, I'm not going to overdo it on bottles. Barrels, that gets crazy really quickly there, WC. All right, so you locked in on your top four, Jill? No? Yeah, I, I really have five, but you gotta go. I mean, okay, I five. top five then. We'll just check. I was just trying, I was trying to cut it in half. Apparently, that was going too far. Um, top five. Um, I haven't gone to top five, so I'll have to pick the fifth one. Um, Abby, you locked it on top five. I'm locked in. Major, you got two. top five. So we're here. Yeah, I've got my top five. Let me get my fifth one here real quick. I am supposed to have a meeting too. tomorrow morning. At, <laughs> man, my head's going to hurt tomorrow morning. You're going to be there. Like, dude, I drank for an hour before we started. Calm down a little bit. Come on, man. Bro, this is not an amateur got... hour. What are we doing? No, not even a little bit. I've got, Jeez. I'm tasting 12 barrels at nine tomorrow morning. So this oh, my is, goodness. Oh, this is just warming me up. So it sounds like um, you've got a great job and you need to quit complaining. That's what it sounds like. Sounds like you just need to chill. I don't think I was complaining. I was just emphasizing my excitement for tomorrow morning. <laughs> I don't even know. I'll agree, I'll agree with y'all on whatever number five is because I got four clear winners for me. And then I'll just, whatever y'all got for number five. So, what if we all got something different? Well, then we'll just, then I'll just vote on those. Okay. Do you have a piece of paper or something we can, I, I have not thought this through, to be honest with you, on how we're going to. I have my phone. I think I've got pens over here somewhere. I don't know. I got a dry erase marker. Hand me that piece of paper there with the duck salt stuff. There's nothing you can write on it. Yeah, it's... I can write on it. Okay. Okay. Um, not with that. Abby, uh, give me give me your numbers on one one through four. Um all right, my top four. I'll give you my top four. Okay. Uh, or five. Well, we're doing five. We're go doing ahead, five. go ahead and do okay, five. Let's do it. 17K30, 24. 24. 28. 161. And two oh six. All right, Major, what you got? All right, I'm not going to be able to go down the list of numbers because they're all the way on, on my hotel bed. You don't do numbers? Number one. Okay, that number one was 24. 24. Number one. Number three. 1, 2, 3, 28. Number eight. Is number five. Number, Number five, five was uh, 205. Five is 160. Oh, no, no, hold on. Five was 160. I'm sorry. I was looking at 205. 162. 162. All right. And we're number four, and I liked it because it was so different than every other whiskey that we taste. 
Okay, so y'all are y'all are exactly the same on four out of those five. Um, okay, Jill. Um, twenty-four. Mm. Next. One sixty-one. All right. And then two hundred five. 206 and 28. The same. So you are, yeah, yeah I mean, I the you're same. exactly the same she is. <laughs> uh, so for, I only have four, and then I'll just go with whatever y'all got. Um, my top four is 24. And then one, two, three, what's the fourth one? 161. 161. And then the last two are 205, 205 and 206. 206. We're all very similar. So the only thing I don't, like, I just didn't pick, I didn't, you didn't pick, pick 28 because I, I didn't go to five. And, uh, like, that was, that was like, I re- honestly, I ran out of that one because that was in battle with, like, three for number five. So we're, right now, 24, 161, 205, 206. So 24. 24, definitely. And then 28. 28, everybody picked that one, except for me. So I'm do, I'm down with that. <laughs> and then 161, everybody picked, it looks like. Yeah. And then 205. Five and 206. Well, she picked, so Abby picked 205 and 206. And Major picked 161 and two or 162 and 206. Uh, so he loses. Like he just loses one sixty two. Like he just he just lost that one. That's his barrel to do whatever he wants to with. That shit's not happening here. Okay. That was really that was really disappointing result there. You picking that one? I'll be honest with you. That one sixty two. Like I don't know what you were thinking. Give me a little I sample, a of that. sample of this thing. Oh, I just lost my. Then I'm gonna enjoy myself the rest of the night with that, that sample. That was. It was this one. 162 was one, this. two, three, four, five. Yeah. So one, two, three, four. It was in the mix for me. It really was in the mix. Um, it just wasn't in the winning mix. So we're Look, taking out. TJ, haters going to hate, man. Haters going to hate. Gonna You're right. Hate, haters, hate, hate. Haters are 100% going to hate. And then some people got good palate, some people don't. I just like I don't. Haters I'm gonna not hate, hate. I'm not hate, judging. Hate, hate, hate. I'm just saying there are four people here that drink whiskey almost semi okay, for a living, and ma- three of them agreed, and one of them had a completely different opinion. Major is just gonna shake maybe, it off. Maybe, maybe that one, maybe that one is superior to everybody else. Nope. Maybe, He's just or maybe that one has lost his way some way. You know, All right. much so more likely doing- the latter. However, you're going to come to Mississippi in about six weeks, and we're going to drink some whiskey together, and we'll figure out who's where and what hierarchy, right? We're going to do that together, you and I, drinking whiskey out of the barrel together. Oh, no. Out of the barrel. I'm down with that. Now, Jill just moved everything, and now I'm lost. No, I know these are the five. Jill. These are the five, are but like, which of these are the five? So I make sure I'm using the same glens. Well, baby, all I gotta do is put the bottle back. Like I didn't okay. move any of yours. Uh, all right. So what's I number one? Mine. What was what was the first one? That was twenty four. Twenty four. So twenty four right here, and then this one was the fourth one. What was the fourth one? Was that twenty? What? So twenty eight was the second one. Yes. Okay, so the second one. And oh, then 161 yeah. was the fourth one? Wait a minute, you're confusing me. 24, 25. Fourth like 25 was the second one. 25 was second. Okay, so that one's out. Yes. And then, so this was the third one. 28 was the third one. And the third one's in. And then the, what was the next one? What's fourth? 161? Is that the fourth <laughs> yes. lowest number? 161. Yeah. 161. Okay, so that is the fourth one. That one's in. And then the next one is 205. Which was the fifth, next to the last fifth one. Fifth and sixth one. And then the last one. Right. Yeah. Okay. All right. Great. I just want to so make sure I'm using the same Glen Cairn. These are 
completely and totally done. I apologize. I, honestly, this is the first time we've ever done a live stream like this. I don't know if this is entertaining. I don't know if we've run off everybody. Let's look. Let's look yeah, and let's see look. what our <laughs> metrics look like right now on YouTube. That's what we're going to do. I'm going to check the YouTube metrics. There are 700. We have run almost everybody off. The people that are here are probably having a great time. We've run most, like at this point, normally we got like a thousand people here. We ran them all off. So if you're liking this right now, if you're still here, if you enjoy this type of content, hit the like button for me, pump that like button for a little bit. Uh, see if we can't get a few more people in here. Cause right now I'm thinking people don't like this. Like nobody's watching this stuff. So there's 700 people watching this stuff. 700, but normally we get a thousand. And that's just YouTube. So, I feel like it's Major's fault for picking that one bottle. I'll be honest with you. I think, I think oh, like that one barrel, it's probably his fault. Like I, I just, I, I'm not taking the blame for this. I'm going to be honest. I'm not taking the blame for this. It's got to be Look, him. The reality of it is, exclude me from all of the future presentations because it's better without me. <laughs> no. I get a lot. Of, the in, important ones are like here. That's what I'm hearing. The, 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 the OGs. The rider dies, the folks that are really cool, yep. the folks that are really into whiskey, they're still hanging with us. They're still having a good time. It does normally drop off smoke. I'm just giving everybody a hard time. We, I, so, no, 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 whoa, whoa, whoa. What I did not realize, what I did not realize that dials all this back is we are actually 11 minutes over our live stream time. Normally we, we've quit like 15 minutes ago by this point. So it's, that's probably the problem. Everybody's going to bed. That's the problem. It is a what barrels did we pick? We, we haven't yet. We, we, Lord, have, were you not here? We got five. So we're down to five. And I, I say, let's take three barrels. Sounds let's like narrow this five. down to three barrels, I and I will take three. Okay. So we're going to take three, and one of them is definitely going to be my butter pecan one. I don't know which one that is, too. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you that one. I think it's the third I one, isn't it? <laughs> I know which one it is. I think it was 161, wasn't it? Hey, and when y'all come to Mississippi in April, we're going to dump this shit. We're going to have a That's whole the other one. process to it, too. Gonna I, we're going to do all the stuff. We're still live. We're going to have a lot of fun. I assume we're still live as well. And if we're not, then we're just going to continue to have a good time. Put them back this way. Don't well, I mean, I'm just going to put it back over there. But, yeah. Um, so, after this stream, again, I'm going to jump on to Discord for supporters only. If you have signed up for Patreon tonight, link your patron to Discord. You should be able to jump into that chat if you have trouble. We will help you. I'm not going to help you tonight because I'm going to be in that chat, hanging out, having a good time. Kobe M with the super chat, having a great time. Thank you all. Appreciate it, Kobe. That's, did you pour that one? I poured number two. This is number three. <clears throat> and this is number four. Okay. Jill's trying to keep it right. She's keeping me right. I'm trying. DJ Jill, thank y'all very much for y'all's time tonight. And uh, y'all get the barrel picks over and we'll dump them when you're in Mississippi. Right? I, You know, it's it's been a lot of fun. I, We probably didn't do the greatest job of figuring out how to manage the stream and switch. And I, I, I tried to set up something much more complicated, but this is what I settled on where I was like, let's just get us four wide. So I don't have to worry about pressing buttons the whole time. Um, I'm hoping this is entertaining for folks. I've enjoyed it. It's been a fun time. I love the barrel pick process. I love when we're at the distillery doing barrel picks and doing different things. Um, and I, I try to bring that experience to folks as much as possible. It's much different for us to do it in a live stream environment, but I hope it's been fun for folks watching at home because it's definitely been entertaining for us. Yeah, man. Thank y'all for uh, both of you and Jill having us. And I, this is, we've never done it before. And I, last week I was talking to Abby and I was like, what in the hell are we going to do? I don't know how to live stream anything. <laughs> what are we getting ourselves and into? You're asking me to do this in a hotel in Minneapolis. So <laughs> it's can't. all worked out well. And um, look forward to meeting y'all in, in April in Mississippi, man. Yeah, I appreciate it. And so for those that at home, 
This is kind of what the barrel pick process is like a little bit. It's like they just give you a bunch of samples and then you've got to narrow it down. And then they try to give me enough whiskey to buy too many barrels or <laughs> like the worst ones. I'm going to be honest. The worst ones are give me a ton of whiskey and then they won't let me buy any of it. Those are the worst ones where they're like one barrel and then they keep feeding us stuff. But um, it, it's a lot like this. I hope someday y'all get to join us. Join the patron. We put out when we do most of these barrel picks, we allow folks to submit and we'll choose people randomly to come join us for these picks because it is a, uh, it's an awful lot of fun. Um, and you get to learn a lot about whiskey. You get to learn a lot about whatever distillery um, that we're working with at the time. So whether it's with us, whether it's with somebody else, I highly suggest if you're into whiskey, try to find a time to go do a barrel pick. Travis in the chat says that's 700 plus are the ones who's going to be buying the bottles. Yay. So 700 plus <laughs> sounds like three plus barrels. That's what I've limited it to right now. Well, We're going to do three. And I hope that like these might be the three that fill out the, the pick in April. I don't know. <laughs> I am not sure because I just went back through these five. And yeah, that's what I happens. I can't say any of them. Well, your palate, your palate has now desensitized a bit because you've had a lot of high proof. Can whiskey. I can I throw something out there for you guys? No, you can't. No, don't do it. Don't. No. No. All right. No. Go out and do it, man. Come on. You don't have to ask. Throw stuff. Just start Jill, tossing things. Jill, look. Pick a barrel. Jill, it's your barrel. You pick it. Let TJ pick his two. You pick one, and let's see whose barrel's better. Uh, we so know. I my, have uh, now. My I've barrels now, are barrels. I've now better. muted him for a few <laughs> minutes. He's now muted. You can say anything you want, and nobody can hear you. I mean, all five of these are really good, though. Like they're all really good. All right, you got your audio back, but don't abuse it. <laughs> all right, I'm good. Jill, I got you. I already got mine picked out. Like, we already know which one's mine. The butter pecan? Yeah. <laughs> WC's like five barrels. But I maybe. also love this last one, too, so much. Like, oh, my goodness. I like that the thing. last one, too. I like them all. Oh, no, see, guys, here's the problem I is I just found myself drinking them, not ranking them. <laughs> so now I got to start over. That's, that's where we're at in this uh, live stream. I apologize. That's what I did. They're all good. They're like... I can't five barrel five barrels is too many, Jill. I'm just I, letting I you understand. know five barrels is too many. Okay. But four's not enough. <laughs> so you said four and a half? Can we take half one of these barrels? What are we doing? <laughs> no, so here's the problem is I don't I don't mind four barrels or five barrels, but this is exactly the same thing. But different expressions of that thing. And so, like, realistically in the club, um, it's it's just five barrels of the same thing. It's like, which one do you pick? And so, like, I, we've tried to limit it to three of exactly, the, like, so far, the most we've ever dropped of the same thing is two barrels. So, like, this drop, we will have two, the drop this month, we will have two barrels of short barrel toasted. And so, this will literally Are be the first drop live? where we're releasing three barrels of the same thing. Do yes, what? we're still live. Oh, yeah, we're still live. I hope so. Y'all let me know if we're live. I see Facebook. I see Twitter. Or I see uh, YouTube. So, sure, still live. Uh, they're still commenting. I assume we're still live. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, I think that, I think you're right. Um, I think that, I mean, too many is too many, right? Um, but it's, it's, what do you find, how do you, how do you identify what your consumers want? I don't know that, I, you know, we've all met each other for the first time tonight, but it's what I've understood is that your consumers are bourbon drinkers. They like to explore the category. They're not beholden to one brand and that's that's the bourbon drinker we're trying to reach is the person that is exploring the entire category and not just hanging out in one area. So, <laughs> Yeah, for sure. Aaron says three, if you buy three, you get two free. I don't think it's that kind of deal, man. <laughs> 
So, Kevin, we could buy a well, bunch of them and just kind of hold them. But, I mean, that's not what we're doing at this point, right? So what is the consumer looking for? I mean, that's an interesting question. At this point, what I'm looking for is stuff I'm excited about, and they tend to appreciate what I'm excited about. Um, because a lot of the folks, like I, I feel like I'm an average palette as far as like what I'm looking for. And so a lot of folks tend to resonate with what my palette picks up. Um, and so like, I'm just looking for, and then, and, and the same for Jill, I think Jill has a fantastic palette for whiskey. So really right now, the problem is that I can't let everybody taste it. What we're looking for is just what we like, what we're excited about. And then everybody, you know, hopefully everybody kind of follows along with that. All right. I have two. Okay. I'm working on my third one. I've got two too. I've got two like solid. Solid. Mm -hmm. Solid. With a, like, like, with we're a, taking with these barrels. These two are ours. <laughs> the, the other one I'm eh, about. I don't. I would take all the rest of them. So, but these two are definite. I tell you what I'm going to do at this point, Jill. Is my palate is just quit. You gonna? I'm just, just going. You're just going to pick three. You're going to yes. pick three barrels, Jill. That's what you're yes, going to do. Yes. But honestly, looking at your the the two you've chosen so far. <laughs> are probably what I would have chosen going through the first time. Tyler asking in the chat, how much per bottle? Typically, an old soul store pick is about $75-ish MSRP. Now, it depends on which state. Sometimes their wholesale cost and different things to get it into that state. But with our barrel picks for the Bruzel Club, we always charge MSRP. Like, we do not mark the bottles up at all. Yes, we definitely need, so we've got one... I know the Ben Holiday Corbin is going to have a Jill Tater sticker, but we'll definitely have some Jill Tater stickers on these. Y'all right. don't have a problem with us Tater sticker and bottles, do you? Uh, be okay with them. Well, we're not. We're not going to use copyrighted okay. material. One, one, we're not going to use copyrighted material, and two, we don't really give a shit if you like tater stickers or not. I mean, uh, yeah, please, there's not a damn thing we can do about tater stickers, but just be okay with it. No, we'll be, we'll, they'll be cool, for sure. Oh, hey, hey, here's the deal. It's, TJ, it's nothing that you, that you didn't grow up with. Don't do anything that would offend your mom or your grandma. Uh, dude, we're we're PG thirteen at oh, best. Yeah. We're PG most of the time. Beautiful. Jill's PG. As long as I'm you PG thirteen sometimes. Mantra, don't piss off your mom or grandma. We're good. Yeah, we're not gonna do that. No mouth tater stickers. Some... There will be no Disney tater stickers. I don't we know. Me and Abby both really... like Disney, and Disney me and Abby of... were both. Equal in all of our choices, so I don't know. There, are, true. yeah, there Dis might be a picture of me in front of a castle or something. Yeah, Disney has know. a lot of lawyers, so it might be you with some Mickey ears on oh, okay. or something. Okay, yeah, we, you know, we're, we're not might, gonna we're, we're not gonna that. mess with any we're lawyers. That, I want to point out, we don't care about copyright infringement. <laughs> what we care about we do. <laughs> is don't piss off. Yes, don't piss off your grandmother. <laughs> if your grandmother wouldn't be okay with it, then you shouldn't have done it in the first place. Well, I'm gonna be honest. You hadn't met my grandma, man. There's a lot. My grandma would have been okay with a lot of things. So. I love that. Love that. Yeah, but she would have been okay with some of the stuff. Uh, mama would have been good with a lot of All stuff, right. man. Mama was. Mama was a player. <laughs> oh, mama was. Yeah, she was awesome. Yeah. Both of our mama. We both had mamas and nannies. Mm. We were we are not related. Oh, really? No. <laughs> we're yeah. from Alabama. Like I've just got to be clear. I got to clarify. We were not related. They were not the same mamas and nannies. Although my brother is her cousin. It's weird. I don't like. He's a half brother. You he's, know. He's his half brother. Yeah. Not full brother. Not. I'm not related to Jill. <laughs> 
No, is, is, we're not this, related. is this the Roll Tide or a War Eagle? Hey, you're in Mississippi. I don't need no hate, man. Okay, you know, we're, whatever we whatever we we're suck at, y'all are worse. Here. All right. Man, I, I really Minnesota. hate putting these two out. You hate putting those two? I do hate putting them out, but okay. So I think I have a solid top three. Okay, what's your top three? My top three is twenty four. Uh, that's which number one? Number one. Okay, number I agree one. with that. Number three. Okay. Yeah. And number six. That's what I would have picked as well. That's literally what I, I have changed my to pull them close. <laughs> that is what I that is that is my top three as well. But I will say I am very very sad to leave twenty eight behind. Okay, so give me the numbers twenty four. Twenty four, one sixty one, and two oh six. But whoever gets 28, just, Good bear. this is wonderful. Major, what's your top three? I agree. Uh, my top three are one, three, five. And I, I don't know what the numbers they, they are. And then so he had 24. Eight. One, three, five. Same, same ones. No, five is 205. One, two, three, four, oh, okay. five. Yeah, okay. I'm sorry. That was five before. I it, one, three, it was five, five before. Eight. You're talking about five now. Yeah, in the in the numerical. So order, the same thing. 24, 161, 206. All right, Abby, what you got? Same thing. My hands the same. Twins. <laughs> I, I think we all agree the top three barrels, and we have locked it in, and I have taken those barrels, and uh, we now own those three barrels. Of old soul, I hope y'all support. I hope we don't. I don't. If I have to sell my house over some barrels of old soul, we're moving in with Abby. Come on. We're I'm gonna move in with one of y'all random folks. Okay. So Travis says proof queen sticker would be cool. Also. Yeah, we're not going to Minneapolis. We're not going to Minneapolis. Uh, proof Queen sticker. So, like, we've got a Proof Queen coming on the Ben Holidays for sure. We've got the, like, literally the Proof Queen, Jill as a queen. It's a hilarious sticker. It's very We funny. will be doing that. I'm sure we'll do some Proof Queen stuff on this here as well. Corbin will take me in. Jill, you're just out in the cold. <laughs> me and Corbin, I I'm got, living in Corbin's house. I got house. kids. Somebody will take me in. Country said I can't even aim my camera. Like, there's no, like, I'm not aiming a camera. I've. I'm trying to stay in the frame. And there I am, right that. there. I'm there. Uh, <laughs> well, it, I'm not used to having four wide. I'm going to be honest. I'm used to being able to, like, roam around a little bit here, you know, and do some stuff. And now I've got, like, a little bitty window, and I'm a wide guy and a little bitty window. That just happens. That, that's what happens sometimes. All right, we are 30 minutes longer than we normally stream. We are locking it in right now. We have had a great time yes. going over everything, hanging out with the folks, folks here from Cathead Distillery, Old Soul Bourbon. We picked three barrels. Make sure you, you these are the three? Those are the three. I will, Abby, I will send you an email with the three that we have chosen to make sure oh, those. Perfect. I mean, you've got it. Yep. But like, we're going to lock those three in. We're going to be in Mississippi April 6th at Spillway. The day before, we're going to swing by. We're going to try to tour. We're going to talk to the folks, maybe learn a little bit more about Cathead Distillery. And they're going to bottle. Maybe we get them to bottle all three, at least one of these, hopefully. Uh, we'll hang out. We'll have a good time. If you're available next Monday, do, we're going to be at uh, Old Dominic in Memphis. You can join us there. We're going to have a bunch of people there. We're going to try to do an infinity blend there as well, but they, like we got a call with them Thursday as to whether or not legally they can let us do that. I hate legal. Like the law sucks, but sometimes people have like licenses and things they want to protect. We're hoping to be able to do an infinity blend with one of their barrels there. I'm not sure if we're going to be able to pull that off, but we're going to find out on Thursday and then we'll send out an email on Friday to let everybody know. So otherwise, show up there at Old Dominic, hang out with us. The bar will be open. They're going to have some food. We're going to live stream next Monday on all these platforms from Old Dominic. It's going to be a good time. All right, so folks from Old Soul here, any parting words? Thank you, guys. Thank you all. Appreciate awesome. the time.
Yeah, thank you, Major. Thank you, Abby. We had a great time. Appreciate you. We did indeed have a great time. I'm going to be on the supporter only voice chat over on Discord. If you're a, if you're a supporter and you're in Discord, I saw somebody said they're still trying to figure out how to get that worked out. Um, send a DM, hit up Grant or um, Seth. They'll be able to work it out there. Uh, appreciate everybody watching. We will catch up with y'all later.